Oh wow, where are my glasses at? Oh boy. What? Oh, that's so sick. Did I lose my glasses? Nah, nah, nah. Don't tell me. Oh boy. Oh, that's a. Uh, wow, that's. Ah. I got him. Dude, I was like, what the heck? Lost my glasses right now. That would have not been fire. Oh, you can actually like see like the floor a lot more now. That's interesting. Um, what's up everybody? How to deal with hair loss? Um, it's diet usually. I mean, and stress. Stress is a huge thing. Stress is like one of the biggest things I'd say for like hair loss. Ugh. Wow. Uh, let's see. Stress is like the giantest, the most giant thing for hair loss. So I think if you, uh, if you're stressing out a lot and you're losing hair, that's probably one of the reasons. I also got this new shirt. This shirt's pretty cool. Picked it up from a, from a thrift. Oh, wow. That's so sick. That's, that was for me brushing my teeth. That's so cool. Oh, that'll come off. Whatever. It says the governator, California. That's pretty cool. I literally, I was like brushing my teeth like earlier and I guess I, it kind of looks like it belongs in the t-shirt just cause of like the, uh, the like print, but. It's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be there, but I don't think anyone will notice. It's fine. Um, today we are, what are we doing today? It's <sighs> a great question. Tomorrow though, I will, I will speak about tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to be releasing a new YouTube video. Uh, it's a long anticipated hair care video. Oh wait, I lied. Sorry. It's skincare video. My bad. Everyone's been asking me about skincare. Finally decided to do that. So tomorrow, you guys will be getting a skincare video. I'll release it before I stream, I guess. So I'll be streaming when it's when it's been released. Maybe we'll get more new faces in here. I hope. You know, maybe there will be more people that tune into the stream. Um, but. For now, I guess it, it's just pretty much the collective here. Uh, dang, I thought I had everything set up. By the way, if anyone knows this or doesn't know this, but I, I'm selling a bunch of stuff on my Instagram. So go peep that if you guys are curious to see. Um anything that might be of interest that you might possibly want. I don't know. I already sold a few things actually, but I'm going to try and do like a, I buy a lot of things. Not that I consume a lot, but like I buy a lot of things to sell. Right. And recently, like, I don't know. I feel like I should just make content out of that. I bought like 20 avocados today though. And do you know Avery and his brand ground cover? What's your opinion? Recycled materials. I talked about this in my podcast, but like 
the reality of like clothing in general is that like if you want to be like fully sustainable you just need to stop making clothes because regardless of whatever process you use and like i've learned this from school and like there's there's tons of resources but uh in the production process of like just any supply chain just in general when you're buying any product regardless of if it's used in a more sustainable way or it's produced like it's sourced from a more sustainable route whatever you're still contributing to the process of like making a new thing in this in this day and age and by creating new things you're creating waste regardless of what you think it's sustainable or environmentally friendly being environmentally friendly means you just don't create anything you don't create any waste meaning you don't buy any like any product you don't make anything new for the environment to then once again consume through right because it takes the process regardless of how it's made it still is taxing on the environment it's still not environmentally friendly so if you go to a good college for like art or fashion i should say they will tell you that like the the more like it's very morbid, but it, it'll tell you, like, you know, if you want to be, like, 100% sustainable, quit school. Don't contribute to creating something new. Do, like, just don't be a designer, basically. That's just the consensus. But obviously, that's not going to do anything. It's not It's not going to stop people from doing or creating new things. So people are just going to keep doing the same thing. But, yeah, I mean, ground cover, it's good, like, that he he uses, like, more natural dyeing processes, all these other things. I, I know who Gra I know who Avery is. I've, like, before it was even, like, a decent size on, on YouTube, like, I had met him, like, two years ago. Like, I've talked to him twice. Like, the first time... I was invited to go hang out and like meet him, I guess. And then the second time I crashed into him on New Year's before the next, like <laughs> when I was like stepping, I was like moving, it was like rainy and he was like JQ. And I was like, oh, what's up Avery? It was like such a, a coincidence, kind of like small world sort of situation. Uh, I think today I'm going to wear Dark Dreams. <sighs> I want to do a thing where I put like a, a fragrance and I talk about it a little bit. Um, I sound very ADHD right now because like I'm moving from topic to topic, but Dark Dreams from, I don't know how to pronounce the name, Ephemeral Didiac? I, I do not know how to pronounce that, but is gooning sustainable? In theory, any waste that comes out of your body is unsustainable. I think the reality of just wanting to try and contribute to the best way possible is by eliminating yourself from the loop of causing more environment and I'm environmentally just problem, right? Any waste you do, any any waste you're contributing to just the overall environmental crisis. So the best thing or advice is to eliminate yourself from that that uh that loop of uh waste. So don't poop, don't pee, don't eat food. And probably don't exist. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? Vanity. My favorite method is the hang neck. Stretches my neck to make me taller. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah guys in all seriousness i think i mean the planet's doomed unless we like we develop processes that like help eliminate methane gas and also not only that but big business like has more um i think like the biggest problem is just like the infrastructure of like the industry of like giant businesses like just sh shoveling all their garbage into the environment and like there's not really much um the infrastructure of like the laws that, that are being in place don't really help or aren't even like really like enforced 
so like that causes that's like a huge thing what's up sneeko yeah you maybe take a break from the hub man it is too far gone I, I i agree i think like i think like my main issue though like with a lot of like the scene just in general right is that like everyone's trying to be a fashion designer and everyone's trying to like make a brand but like all of it's all like influenced by hustle culture which a lot of these like designers i don't even want to call them designers but like all these people that are trying to get into fashion like they have the mindset of like oh if i sell a product or make something then i can make a lot of money from it and it, it, it lacks passion it lacks like emphasis on like an ethos of the brand but they make stupid money. Like you can you can shell out the stupidest product you've ever made in your life. Something that says, I don't know, the governator of California, like this shirt I'm wearing. And if you sell it, like if you market it correctly on like TikTok or whatever app you're using, you can make money off of that because people will buy it. All you got to do is say a bunch of random words like buzzwords, for example, like, oh, this is a 200, 200 GSM shirt or this shirt ha is single stitched or double stitched. Like you just use basic terminology that's used in the sewing, like the sewing industry and conversing about how like your shirt's constructed, you will make money because all these people that are alienated from the process of like sewing and how things are, are made, people will be like, whoa, that's insane. Like it's, it's double stitched on, on the hem. Like this is crazy it's 200 GSM shirt. Like that, that sounds great. Like that number sounds amazing. Or like with hoodies, people always like it's 400 GSM. It's, it's 500 GSM. GSM is just in reference to like how heavy it is and how much cotton is being used. But that doesn't always necessarily mean it's like of substantial quality. Like a lot of the times, like it could be just really garbage cotton because cotton's all dependent on the, uh, the structure of the strands in reference to what it's being um, made into. So, uh, how can I upscale? <laughs> this current system is low key a joke. You get rich hella quick if you're soulless enough. Oh yeah, I mean like, yeah, I, I totally believe that. Like, I think for the most part, like with anything, right? We we go on Instagram, we go on TikTok, we go on any, any form of media and as long as you're soulless, you're playing the game, you follow the format, you'll make stupid, you'll get, well, listen, I don't know about making money, but like you'll make, you'll get a lot of views, a lot of followers, and I don't know if that equates into like money. I mean, that sure didn't do that for me, but um, as long as you're, again, you just, you put in that emphasis on like just being soulless, just being a, a cash cow. People call me coffee cow because I drink a lot of coffee. My friend calls me a coffee cow, but. If you become a content cow, not a low cow, but like a content cow and you play the game right, you can make it. The industry of social media in general, if not only rewards people for just constantly posting stuff, that could be garbage. It doesn't matter if it's some some sort of like semblance of like actual deep thought, something that makes someone ponder because the thing I've like, it's so insane. Cause I've talked to people where they're like, yeah, I like your content, but like, it's really hard to digest. Like sometimes I need to go watch like other content that's brainless because I don't want to think. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, why, why would you want, why do you want that? I don't understand the, the idea of like consuming a bunch of just senseless content that adds nothing to your life. That doesn't even make you think. I don't understand why people like that. Why do you, why do we watch brainless content? I don't understand that. Cog in the machine. It's like music and the type of, dude, the music industry is so damaged. Like there is, <sighs> there's so, I would, I would play like people's music that I've seen on like Instagram and stuff. Like these, all these like people that are trying to like push their music, but because they end up becoming like they're not like artists by any stance. They're more of like an influencer trying to shove their music down people's throats. And it's ridiculous because there's so many, there's one artist in, in mind that I have. I don't want to speak on their name just cause like, I also don't want people just like going over there and hating on them. But like their, their IG reels and stuff like get on my page all the time. And I'm like, who listens to this garbage? Like it's so bad. But at the same time, it's like, you really can just get an audience from nothing. Like you just keep posting and hopefully someone has like 
likes your stuff. Like that's what will end up happening. You'll find a crowd of people that like your stuff. And believe it or not, there could be a ton of people that actually like your stuff. Like a bunch of people hate me, and but there's a lot of people that like my content. So it's like, it just differs, right? And you just keep posting and posting and posting and hopefully you'll reach a crowd of people that actually enjoy your content. And then you just keep growing from there, right? Because at the same time, the larger the audience you gain, a lot of the times people will just follow that because it's like, oh, this person, it's it's a hive mind thing. It's like the shepherd and, and, their, and its herd, right? The larger the, the herd you got, the more people feel inclined to like maybe pay attention or listen or watch more because it gives them, and if not makes them feel like you're more trustworthy than someone who is more niche. Someone who has more following means that they've won their audience over and the people that like are just coming across your channel, they'll notice like, oh my gosh, this guy has a hundred thousand like subscribers. Like he must, he must be onto something. Like he has to be, he has to be good. So they'll just continue to subscribe to you, follow you on Instagram and whatever based off that senseless idea. There is no f informing like on the content you make. It's just based off that number. Like, oh, this dude has a hundred thousand subscribers or a hundred thousand followers like yeah this this guy is legit like he he's not a fake compared to somebody who has like ten thousand followers uh niche fan base mainstream uh when the workout plan is coming everyone should be proportion maxing do you like Oh, no, Sneka only uses his, uh, his super chats to talk, usually. Short-term formats intensify information that shortens the point, whoa, geez, to the point of being completely useless for actual understanding. Fall bare minimum means minimal info to connect with cognitive. JQ would never do a workout plan because he wouldn't look mysterious enough struggling with weights. Um, I just don't like, I don't know. I just don't think I'm like big enough to be giving advice to people. Like, I don't think I'm in the most, like, physically, I don't think I'm like, I don't think I'm like, like the dude you'd like listen to for advice on going to the gym, right? I also don't feel like I'm the most informed either. accessory tour i don't get who he is but he keeps making videos with the same caption and song but never releases it for months for almost a month now who are you talking about i would be curious on what that is though will braces ruin my facial structure because i'm i'm trying to will if not if i think br braces will if not only help improve your facial structure because it fixes your teeth. Dude, okay, like I think <laughs> I think a lot of the a lot of the things is like it's based off like if we get a normal lighting that isn't like where I'm at right now, like I, I am a lot smaller than what I actually appear. Is there thinking much because, is there thinking too much because I can't go to sleep? I mean, people overthink a lot of the times, right? I've never heard of what that is. What does that even mean? I don't even want to say what you said, it's your boy. Do I think too much muscles is bad for fashion? Oh yeah, oh, tenfold. The more muscle mass, cause okay. Think of the average consumer who's consuming in clothing. They most likely are just, if not a normal person with a normal body, right? When you start working out, you start gaining muscle and a lot of that muscle starts creating more like, um, I'd say structure on the body, right? In certain areas. So like biceps, your shoulders start popping out more. You get maybe like some, your forearms get bigger in terms of width, like things start getting more wider. And that's a giant problem in um, 
in I think in the industry because a lot of the times when you when they make clothing they they're usually making it with the intent of it fitting one particular like group of people it's not going to fit like everybody right because there is kind of a format that they follow a uh they use these certain types of mannequins that fit certain sizes and a lot of the times i had i struggle with my shoulders being too wide or my forearms being too big for long sleeves right because Again, like, I am not your typical consumer who's buying clothing. And when I was at 240 pounds and I was trying to find clothing, like, it is, it is insanely hard. Like, it's almost near impossible unless you're buying clothing that is specifically oversized that would fit someone who is of skinnier, skinnier stature better, but if not fit me just normal, like normal clothes would. And that's why I wear Yoji a lot of the times. I mean, I'm happy to know that, like, I actually really like Yoji as a brand. And I like the ethos behind Yoji and, like, it fits me well. But imagine if that didn't fit me or, like, I didn't like Yoji and I just didn't want to go down that route. I'd have to go down the route of probably buying a bunch of, like, military surplus or, um, what's the other word? Probably another designer, but like I just couldn't think like Balenciaga, but it's like super expen expensive. That moss is also really expensive. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Having a tailor helps with that. Well, ta the thing about tailors is they can cinch things down. They can't make things bigger. Like unless you get your like clothing tailored specifically for you, right? Royce Fisherman. Royce Fisherman? I feel like if I play that, like, I'll get, like, banned. Well, I'll get, like, demonetized. Roy Fisher. Is he on Instagram? Oh, he's on TikTok. I'll take a gander. Royce Fisherman. I'm not going to play it on, uh, well, I mean, he has like a thousand, a thousand followers, but. I mean, yeah, like that's just, that's just literally what you do for your, uh, you make a bunch of TikToks of the same noise. And then hopefully it goes crazy. I mean, that's that's the thing about TikTok is as long as you spam one thing, yeah. it'll get large. I've never seen that. That's all you gotta do. You just, you, you, you find a format that works on, on like on social media and you just, you max it out like crazy and you'll, you'll get like some sort of audience. But the thing is like, I don't know if that translates into like an actual, like real audience. Like, I don't, I don't know if that's actually like real. Bigger clothes and then tailor it, but then you got to find bigger clothes and then pay to get it tailored. And it's not worth it. All right, Steven. You're not fooling anybody in here. I'm 5'6 and built like a barrel. Is there any hope for me? I have to stop in the husky section and most designers don't make stuff with my proportions. <laughs> you, <laughs> what's husky? What's like husky size? It might be over for you, not gonna lie. Like I, I didn't wanna break it I don't wanna break it to you, but you, you it might be over for you. It might be over for you, man. Just gotta be honest. 
Do I smoke za? Nah. Dude. Weed makes you, like, lazy. But, I mean, that doesn't happen to everybody, but I don't do it. Anything getting, going into my lungs, like, probably wouldn't be doing, to be honest. Do you mind telling your height and weight? I'm, uh, 6'2", 197 pounds. <sighs> Dude, I might have to get a haircut quite soon. Like, hair's bugging me. My jaw is weirdly wide. <laughs> I think it's just because I'm a big guy. And my jaw just is, is more out. Also, like, I think the perspective of how you're looking at me is from a, a downward point, right? Versus... It being straight, so makes my jaw look even more wider. I haven't actually haven't weighed myself in a minute, Paul, but like I probably should. I feel like I look a lot different from a downward perspective versus the like if I if you guys were right here, but I need to get like a, a more setup. I feel like this is a lot better. I'm 5'9 at 18. I think the thing is, like, you could get... You could get taller as you start growing up. So that definitely happens. Stop mewing, you'll end up with a jaw like this. Ah. <sighs> You, men stop growing at 21, so there is hope. You wouldn't want to be 6'4". Like, that's not, that's not like a typical thing you'd want. You lost 80 pounds and got two inches taller. <laughs> yeah, 140 at 6'4 is like insane. Dude, some of you guys are kind of small. Dude, you, what's, what are y'all eating? I think like, uh, Americans are like a lot smaller than Europeans for the most part. Cause it's all genetics, right? But, like, I just, I don't know. No, I think the perfect height is 6'2", right? I think between 6'1 to 6'2", it's, like, the perfect height. because The reasoning behind this in perfect height is because at 6'1", you're not 6 foot. So, if you're, if you're claiming you're 6'1", People will just assume like you're not lying, but if you claim to be six foot and you're actually six foot, people will just think you're five eleven. But at six one to six two, you're away from the idea that you're probably lying about your height because you're insecure. Now the second thing is at six one to six two, you're like not too tall, but also not short in people's minds because people think six foot is short. A lot of I've talked to a lot of people like I don't know why, but people think being six foot's like shorter than. Like, I don't know. Getting that extra one inch makes a huge difference in a lot of people's brains. I don't know why. It shouldn't. It shouldn't, though.
Dude, 5'9? I mean, being like. Yeah, being 5'11 is like. Being 6 foot's like being like 5'11. Like, there's no difference in people's brains. It's the same thing. I think being 6'4 is a curse, like, you're too tall, you barely fit into doorways, you can't fit into clothes because you're too tall. <clears throat> I tell people I'm like 5'11 when I meet them. Because then they have that idea that now, like, if I'm 5'11", I'm, I will always be a reference to what other 5'11 people say they are, or people that are six foot. And then when they meet other people that are actually that height, they're like, you're lying, because my friend JQ is this tall. And he's, like, way taller than you, so you must be shorter. And it just messes with people's brains, because they just instinctively think that I'm not lying. Why would I lie about my height being so tall? So it's funnier, right? Because it, it gets more funny, especially when there's people around you that are like, wait, I thought I was 5'11". I'm like, well, I guess you're not. Because I'm 5'11". I I'll tell you guys a story of like... I'm not a big liar... But, like, sometimes I'll be lying. <sighs> There's, like, a joke that I have going on where I, I, ta I say, like, I have to fill my daily quota of lies. And if that's not filled up, then, you know, <laughs> I go insane. But I do a little white lies. This is the one, the one lie that, like, I forgot about. Th that's the problem is, like, I have a really bad memory, so... Sometimes I'll lie about something really, like, small that it's not that big of a deal. It won't affect people's lives. And it's, like, really funny to me. But then, like, people are just, like, they'll bring up something that I lied about. Like, whether it's my height or, like, how much I weigh or, like, something stupid. And then I'll be, like, that's not true. Like, I'm in, I'll, I'll actually, like, tell them the truth. And then, like, there's a huge confusing thing here. But I, I want to tell you guys about this story about my about my roommate actually so let me sit up for this i'm a pretty good i'm a pretty good person when it comes to a not like it's hard it's hard to tell like if i'm fibbing or not right It's not a lie, it's a bit. <laughs> I guess if that's how we differentiate things, Steven. Alright, well, I was doing this bit, right? Um, whenever I meet somebody, I talk about, like, my family. And the one thing that, like, I real <laughs> I forgot about was I was telling my roommate, like, I was like, oh, I just got off the phone with, like... No, I don't know. He was asking about, like, my family. And I was like... Oh, well, I'm adopted, and, like, I've been adopted for so long, yada yada. Uh, and, like, I, like, sometimes talk to my, like, biological dad sometimes, and my biological parents, because, like, I've met them. But, like, now I have, like, my actual, actual parents, or, like, my adopted parents that I talk to more often. So, like, this is where I forget. I forget that I told this lie, like, because I was, I usually wait 24 hours and then I'll be like, oh, I was just joking about insert whatever it was. <clears throat> he believed this for months of knowing me. I get a call, like, I got a call from my parents and, like, I was talking to them and, like, I got off the phone and, like, I was in the kitchen and I was, like, making food and, and I, he was like, oh, what'd you do today? And I was like, oh, I talked to my dad. And he's like, did you talk to your biological dad? And I was like, yeah, I did. Like, what do you mean? Like, my biological dad, like, 
yeah, I did talk to him. He was like, well, it, I mean, you have two dads, don't you? And I was like, what are you, what are you talking about? And then it like clicked and I was like, oh, I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to mention that like, I'm not adopted. Like I, like I, I totally lied about that. Like it, it was, it was a bit that went too far. And he was like, dude, for this whole time, when you would talk about your parents, like I never knew who you were talking to because I always had in the back of my mind, you were adopted, but I just never asked. And it, it like, this was going on for months. I like forgot, I forgot to like mention that like, I am not adopted. Read David Foster Wallace Just on irony. I already have too many books I need to read. Like right now I'm reading, um, do I say I read, I say I read, but I say this very loosely. I, I love this book, believe it or not, but like, I, I literally, I get caught up with like doing my job too much and then like. I don't read my book because then I go and do like other social things. Cause like being social is good, um, for, for your, your health, your mental health. But I always, you know, I need a, I need to have a reason to read a book. And like the, my reasoning to reading this book is because I want to make a video about a few of the phrasing, not the phrases, but the concepts in this book that I'd want to expand on in a video. And that's kind of what would be my reasoning for pushing myself to read this and all the other books that I have. But yeah, I like, I'll go to like bookstores. And I think this is a really bad habit of mine. Like, for example, I have this Rick Rubin book. I know it's like a popular book. I didn't know who it was from, by the way, like, I didn't know it was Rick Rubin, but like my friend was like, oh, this is a really cool book. Like I wanted to read this and I was like, oh, I'll buy it. Why not? This looks cool. And I, cause I read a page of it in, in the library. So I bought this book and I read a bit of it and then I like stopped and then I just never, I got other books. So like that ends up happening to me a lot of the times. Like, well, this is a cool book. I'd read this. I get it. I read like a few pages. I get a chapter in and then like, I don't pick it up again and then I buy another book that I'm like this book's super cool I want to I want to read this book and I just don't read it now it's it's used as like a mouse trackpad like I I have my mouse on it like that's it's being utilized for something at least I just don't read it I'll read it at some point like I'm I'm trying to like I'm trying to get better at like reading books because I, I think like my brain's fried from like the internet, but like it is really hard. The book that I did read like in full, cause I was on the train a lot when I was in Jersey, I read this book called, um, what's it called the consistency formula. I guess I learned nothing from it, but I read that full book and I was really proud of myself <laughs> because I actually finished a book. <laughs> I've heard really good things about No Longer Human, which is something I'd want to read, right? Like, I get a lot of good, like, you guys give me so many good book recommendations. Like, I'll get DMs about, like, read this book. This book looks interesting. And I'll look it up, and I'm like, dang, this looks like a cool book. Like, I'd read it. But then I'm like, if I buy this book, I'm not going to read it. Like, I already know myself. So don't recommend me any books, because I'm not going to read any of them. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to look them up. I won't. I won't lie to myself saying I'm going to finish these other books. What's up, Leo? Ought to take notes on your reads. I do. So I do write notes in my books. Like that's just like a force of habit that I've developed from um, college. But uh, I don't know. I just, I can't do it right now. Books with pictures. I don't know, man. None of the books I read have, uh, I should stream Rust. 
maybe at some point when I start getting like good donations, you know, like I start getting people to donate to the cause, I'll 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 be able to buy a, uh, a computer <laughs> cuz I I can't I can't run it on my PC. Well, I don't even have a PC. I'm using a MacBook Pro, but which I got from college, for college. Not even for what I'm doing it now. How how much how far do I have to be parasocial with my audience to start gaining um what do you call it? To start getting donos, right? You know, what's fire about Twitch is that, like, if you have an Amazon Prime account, like, you could just basically sub, which is, like, nice, but, like, YouTube doesn't have anything like that. So then it's just, like, less in inclined to, like, you know, sub or whatever. No, yeah, MacBooks are good, though, but, like, I can't run, I can't run it in stream, like, me playing Rust or, like, any other games, right? I don't need a Mew anymore, man. Apparently my jaw is too big already for people. Is it bad that I'm talking to two girls? Well, I'll tell you this right now. If you're talking to two girls, you probably don't like either of them. start playing casino stuff i don't want to lose money that's like a that's a, a high way to lose money your gaming laptop <laughs> you got a gaming laptop i wonder how good that is i'd consider I really want to pel I want to play like Hell's Di Hell Divers because I've seen how like it seems like a really fun game, but again like I don't I can't run it on my PC. I keep saying PC on my laptop on my MacBook like charge for fit critique on st on stream. I guess I could do that <laughs> if someone. I guess it would have to be on Discord though, because then I would be able to like actually show that. If people really want me to do that like on live, like I could do that. If you haven't already joined the Discord. Oh wait, what? Can I not like can I send this? All right, I'll be I'll be roasting people's uh I'll be critiquing people's outfits on live. Um where Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can open the door. What? Uh No one can see you. You're just I know, I know. Okay. Um I was going to ask my Borrow a scoop of your pre-workout when you go for a run. Oh, sure. Are you sure you can handle it? <laughs> no, it's like strong. Yeah. It, 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 it's, how much caffeine does it have? I don't know, man. When I first started it, like, I was like geeked out. <laughs> I mean, I'm about to go for a run run. So. Yeah, yeah, feel free. Um, which is the smaller bottle? Or which bottle is it? <laughs> you you, you know might take a full scoop of creatine. That would suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, um... It's the gorilla, gorilla mind. Oh, okay. It's, it says gorilla on it. Should I take a full it's, it's weird that I, I like, I like everything with monkeys involved. I don't know why. I don't even know. Got, it's called gorilla mind. It's, it's the monkey mind. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's gorilla mind. Okay. That's what we scream. Yeah. <laughs> okay. George said hi. <laughs> um, that was my roommate. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what my deal is, but, like, I like 
anything related to monkeys. I, I don't know why, but I'm not doing. I'm not streaming on pre workout. Give his roommate pre workout. <laughs> Jack to 3D used to have like actual like methamphetamine in it. That was not a part of the script. That was that was a very random event. Okay, um uh hmm. If you join the Discord, right? If you join the Discord, I'll roast your outfit uh on stream. Hmm. If you throw it up on what are you wearing today? I'll go through it. And, uh, I don't know. I'll do a little, a little thing, right? Do stream on Adderall? <laughs> I've done a stream with, like, when I was drinking, but, like, I don't think I would do Adderall, like. The Discord link should be pinned. I'll give you guys a taste of what I, what I'd, uh, accomplished. Uh, later, later streams will like, we'll do, uh, we'll do something more fun. Uh, dono, donate to be, sh to be roasted on live. It has to be good. I'll, like, I'll actually give, like, good critique, though. Depending on what I see, though. Oh. Dude, I looks maxed by going to the gym. XQC does that? He ri he he roasts people's fits on live. Why? Um I think like people need to get like verified. That's the thing when they like join the server. I can probably just do that. I have to do that manually. All right, and then once you get your role, right, all you got to do is send your, uh, your fit into, uh, what are you wearing today? And then we'll go from there, I guess. We'll see what you guys cook up, because, I don't know, there, there could be some atrocious stuff there. Dude, I don't need Adderall to focus. Anything hitting the liver like that's just not great. But dude, I wouldn't I I would not sell my my balloon pants if I'm being honest. If I don't have to. <laughs> the Josh stream. <laughs> if I if I get enough donos today, I'll do a Josh stream. I'll do another Josh stream. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Dude, I have to be incentivized to do another Josh stream. <laughs> One when do you have to sell like i sell all the time like i've i sold like three things today i sold like these wide pants i was wearing like often i sold some canada goose jackets 
a jacket from Junior times the... What is a Josh stream? FN, that's that's a great question, man. Um, a Josh stream is when I go buy a bottle of Josh and I drink it on stream. I sell stuff on my Instagram, so... Every so once in a while, I'll like post a bunch of stuff I'm selling. Um, I, I am a curator. I'm an individual that curates stuff. I buy a bunch of clothing most of the time for either friends or just for my own amusement, and I sell it. That's also another avenue of money and how I make money. Sell clothes. I think a lot of people know this. I go and deal with the uh, dirty negotiations and I am able to like procure some pretty cool pieces. That's how I was able to get most of my wardrobe from secondhand marketplaces. I do all the grueling work of uh, waking up hella early, going on auction sites and winning. Um, make sure to bring Kale to the Josh stream. Oh man. That really depends on like if she has work or not, but, or school I should say. Right now we're currently working on, um, we're currently, she's currently working on a pattern right now for this next piece that we have coming up for Patient Zero. It's gonna take a minute, um, yeah. It's getting pretty complicated, considering, but, uh, you know. It's gonna be a cool piece. I'm kind of excited to put it out, but... But, yeah. Shirts to say Yojinator. Yojinator. That'd be pretty fire. Okay, so, right now, we're gonna go through, um... Let's go on Discord. Let's go on Discord real quick. Let's see what's uh what's going on right now with what are you wearing today? Okay, we have two no outfits and I don't know if like these people are specifically from stream. If you're from stream, make sure you uh mention that in the uh in that uh that post, right? Okay, I'm wondering if I should just do this like Oh, that's weird. No. All right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna like, wow, that's, uh, that's freaky, isn't it? I wonder why it's not showing correctly. It's like weird. Okay. That's better. It's been fixed. All right. I'm going to move chat real quick. There's a bigger chat there, you know, that's the chat that I need to, like, stare at when I'm looking, but I will move that. Alright. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. I'll, I'll fix the, <laughs> I'll fix this. Let me fix this. Alright. Alright, we got, a uh, we got some fits here. Hmm. So we only have two right now. I'm assuming that most people can't really, uh, people can't post anything. Why sell pants you're going to wear a lot? What do you mean? Oh, that I wear them a lot? Because to make room for other paints, I'm going to wear more. I like to rotate my closet quite often when I get the chance. Dude. JQ-ish. I can barely see what you're wearing in this. Alright, well... Let's try and do my best here. <laughs> Can anyone tell what he's wearing? Cause I can't. Like actually. Like I can barely tell. Uh, 
I mean, like... We need to give a tutorial on how, how like, how to, like, take actual fit pictures that are, like, clear. Um, but the coat looks pretty cool. The pants are fine. It's, like, a simple outfit. I mean, I, there's nothing to hate on it. It's just, like, the only thing I'm hating right now is just, like, the quality and then, like, the, uh, the way the picture was taken. Whenever, whenever you take pictures, you're always gonna want to do this. You, you want to, like, tilt the camera, like, slightly up when you're, like, taking pictures. You don't want to point, point it down. Like, I don't recommend doing that. Uh, it's just, like, my one critique, like, and then probably get better lighting, because, like, I, you could barely tell, like, the materials and stuff, so it's kind of, like... You, your your fit pits suck. All right, so uh, All right, this is like a normal old money outfit. What about the shoes? I don't know. This is like a this is like a dad. This is a casual dad outfit. There's not much to say here. I, I think like. Uh, I think lose a denim, go for a trouser, just because it it mesh a lot better with like what you're trying to go for. Denim tends to be quite a, uh, or quite too casual. You do need natural light for all black outfits. Are you just showing off your chain? Is that I, the chain's pretty cool though? What is this? I like chains like this. Um, I wonder if it's like sterling though. All right, now now we're getting into some sauce here. We got the Balenciaga Defenders. The uh, what else can I identify in this? An Alpha. I'm assuming like Alpha Industries like bomber jacket. Personally, like. The side view probably looks cool, but like if you like turn like to like towards the camera, it probably looks very weird. I think bombers give a weird, really weird shape, especially if you have really broad shoulders. It'll make you look really broad, but if you're really skinny, um, bomber bomber jackets tend to look cooler. I I, I would like I would need a better angle where like yeah the side angle looks fine. Like the hood looks cool. I like the texture on that. Um, the pants are flared out, which are cool too. I do like how everything sits, but in order to really like look at an outfit, like, and like analyze it, you have to see it from the front, not from the side. I don't need more pictures. All right, let's see. Uh, holy do this. Your mustache is crazy. It's pretty fire. Dude, I like, I used to have a friend who, uh, when I was younger, this guy had the same mustache and he was such a cool guy. Any dude that has like a mustache like this is like, they gotta be planning something. It's evil. Big pants, big shirt, big button down. The only thing I would say is like, I'd get rid of the button down given that it's more of like a, uh, it's a more like formal piece. Given that this is like really just like kind of like chill. Oh, is a long sleeve like also? Oh, that's it. dude. I love long sleeves that like go on the thumb. I think that that is like what it is. I think I'm assuming right. <sighs> what would I trade the button down for? Like. I think something like distressed or like vi like a denim jacket would look pretty cool. Like a giant denim jacket would be sick. Like a chore jacket, that'd be pretty cool. Or like something cotton, not like a not a button down. If the button down was like more of a wool, just because it's more structured, given like the, this is my thing with denim. Like I like denim, but denim tends to be like a material that's very structured, very thick material. Anything like leather or 
anything that's more structured on top always looks great. Shirts are fine with denim, but like if you're wearing another layer, like for example, this long sleeve, my envisionment a lot of the times would be like something more thicker that is thicker than the t-shirt. So like a wool or a, a leather jacket, maybe even denim would also be really sick. But there's something about dress shirts, that they're just so thin and flimsy, very like, they have a lot more draping to them than, and they don't hold structure too much, they're very flimsy. And that material tends to work really well with like, like wool trousers that are thicker, but tend to be again, like very loose fitting compared to like, you know, denim. I mean, I don't, I don't hate this outfit. Like, I just feel like the top, the top would be like, if it was changed, it'd be better. Dude, also the pants, bro, like, what's that inseam, man? That's insane. You get crazy heel drag. <laughs> Bro's gripping the... <laughs> Are you dr And if you're, you're drinking, you're drinking Starbucks, like, come on, man. If you, if you have this mustache, you shouldn't be drinking Starbucks. Like, that's disgraceful. That's like the worst coffee you could drink. Unless you get a brown shake and espresso from Starbucks, then that's fine. That's a disgrace to the mustache community if you're drinking Starbucks. I mean, overall, like, probably better outfit than, uh... Than this fellow over here. JQ-ish, man, I wish I got to see more of the outfit. Alright, this is a better view. Let's, uh, let's take a gander. Again, like, you guys keep taking the pictures, like, tilted down. Like, I get the mirror. Like, you can't get your whole fit. Get a better mirror. Get a better mirror. Uh, the only thing I'll say is that, like, when it comes to, like, uh, I think, like, I'm sure this outfit doesn't, it looks quite normal if it wasn't taken how it was taken, but, like, given the perspective of how the camera took this picture, it makes your, like, your feet look ten times bigger than, uh, your pants, so, like, I'm talking about body proportions, like, the leg, like, your foot looks huge compared to your, uh, I'll say the scale, the scale of your foot looks giant compared to, like, these, uh, I'm assuming they're like a carrot fit pant, just given that they're like kind of wide at top and they, they taper down. Uh, when you do stuff like this, usually like a slim boot or shoe looks well. I mean, I'm assuming, I don't know. I, I don't like this interaction at all. I hate, I hate how this, I hate it. Like the top looks fine. It's just the pants and the, the way the pants and the shoes, the shoes look huge. I'm moving on. You get a better mirror, man. <laughs> you need to get a better mirror. Yeah, it's a warped perspective, just camera work. Yeah, I'm assuming like that's what I'm saying. Like I'm assuming the the pants like like th see this is a good take notes from this man here. Who posted this? Take notes from this guy. He, like... Yeah. Take notes, chat. Like, you see this? This is... This is the right way to take a picture. We got good lighting. This is taken at night, too. Good lighting. Uh, you know, there's no face in it. But, like... You you capture the, the entire outfit, right? You don't need friends to take pictures. You can get a tripod if, if you're really about it. If you're really about it, you can get a tripod, go out alone, and take a fit pick. You just need good lighting, that's all that matters, but... The fit's, the fit's calm. Baggy pants. Again, like, I'm telling you, leather and, and like, leather and denim always work really well just because of how structured denim is and how thick it is. So, like, I understand, like, this, this mixture works well. I feel like the thing that could be, if not improving on the outfit entirely, is if there was more accents of red throughout the outfit. I get the idea in general when it comes to just making a statement piece pop,
But to me, if you accented more red, like a leather red uh, bangle of some sort, or a like leather, there's like these like, what are they called? They attach to your keychains or like, it's like kind of like a wallet chain, but like there's a, there's these like leather wallet chains that are pretty sick. And if it was like, if that was just there, like a touch of that would be also like very nice cause it'd be pairing and accenting. And I think it would help a lot entirely with the outfit, but I don't, know, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Just again, accenting reds throughout the outfit would be sick. Like a red bag of some sort. I know it's tough to get your hands on red because red's very, uh, very huge though. Yeah, or like a red tassel. That'd be sick. Popping out like around the, the leg area. I'd say red bandana, but you'd get, you'd get hurt. I don't know if that's worth. All right, do we got, why do we got some handsome, why do we got handsome, uh, <laughs> why do we got handsome chatters, bro? What is this? Do we need the whole fit, bro? <laughs> Average JQ fan. <laughs> We need, a. Uh, we need, I need to see how pants, how the pants hit the shoes, how the pants interact with the shoes. It's not, I, I mean, I think the outfit looks cool though, nonetheless, but like, we need, we need full outfits. I need to see the full outfit. You got it. You got to get, you... <laughs> You gotta get the, the side angle here with the jaw, of course. You can't get a picture without this. This is a good picture to post, like, on Instagram, but, like... Bro, how tall are you, man? Are you in chat right now? How tall are you? How tall are you, my man? You look tall. If he's in chat right now, are you... How tall... Like, you... Based off your hands, like, I feel like you're, you have to be, like, 5'10", maybe taller. 183, 183, what is that? 183 centimeters? Isn't that, like, 5... Is 180 centimeters, like... What is that in, in uh, in feet? That has to be, like, uh... So you're decently tall, right? A uh, six feet? Okay. Uh, I fi see. I I was on. I was on the mark there. I was. Uh, he had to be tall, considering. Considering the uh, the hand size, you you always can tell from dudes' hands how tall they are. All right. I'm not gonna even. I'm not gonna even look at this. Moving on. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna... Dang, these pants are huge. Why am I obsessed with people's heights and proportions? Because the thing is, like, if people dress for their height, you can make an outfit look great. Like, people... There's people that dress for their body types, like me and my height, and that's what makes a lot of my outfits, to me personally, feel like decent looking. But if I were just dressing to dress, like then I, my outfits would look horrible. You have to dress for your your height and the size of like your your legs. Like some people's legs are very uh, like torsos are like a lot longer than some some people, so you'd wear high waisted pants. There's a lot of things to combat in that. Uh, but it just goes to show that, like, you take into account your body with how clothes fit on it. Think of yourself as, like, a hanger and or a mannequin, and you're dressing that mannequin up. Given that idea, like, you're, you'll be able to kind of configure, like, a good outfit. I like this outfit. It's, it's normal, it's simple, it's clean. Giant pants, though, huge. Massive. You know it'd be sick if you wore like heels, 
something healed or like something with big souls that'd be fire that's like my only thing i mean with all all black outfits like sometime accenting like other colors is cool uh look take it from me <laughs> as someone who just wears all black all the time uh use i'd say like chrome like chrome details like wallet chains i use a wallet chain because i'm walking around all the time or chains like necklaces and stuff that are like meaningful to you i mean there's like only so much or a bag i always take bags around with me but like i need them it's i mean if you just go in your car you don't really necessarily need the a bag right Why does he kind of look like me? Who? Dude, the, your average streetwear enjoyer. It's a... Uh... Alright. We got the pose. We got the pose down, right? This is the, the average streetwear pose, right? Bottega Veneta bag, I'm assuming. Rep Warrior Enjoyer? Question mark. Panda Buy Enjoyer. Balenciaga Track Runners. Don't know the pants. It's just like a normal streetwear outfit I'd see like walk in the street. Um. Are you vaping? Is your homie vaping? I always make fun of my friends when they vape. Like, being addicted to a USB stick is insane. I hate the chains, though. I, I don't like this. I feel like it's very gimmicky. The cross is fine, but, like... They, I hate that. If I wore this, I'd feel like a douchebag. I mean, that's just me, though. I, I don't know about you. I'm sure you're a nice guy. I would feel like a douchebag if I wore any of these. Uh... Oh, fire, all right. <laughs> okay, Moss is just trolling. Um, do I love colored outfits. Like, don't, like, people always think I hate color, but, like, I do enjoy me a colored outfit. The only thing I don't like is this. If the loafers were, like, fatter... I feel like it'd make more sense to me. Um, like a thicker sole. I like there's so much weight being c like carried, right? Like on top. Like there's a few layers. There's a shirt that might be a cardigan or a vest, and then a trench coat, and then we get to the. Uh, we need a more structured shoe, like something that's more thicker, because it's like building. Building a foundation on rock, something that's more sturdy looking. This is very slim. Like, I feel like I'd wear these types of loafers with something more slim, more formal. I'd still feel like if these loafers just had a fatter sole, it would make more sense to me. I just, I don't like how slim the sil like, it's a very slim, like, effect on the foot. And then you got, like, decently, like, giant pants. Not a bad outfit though, but like your feet look tiny. The scale to your your of your feet to like your whole body, it's like astronomically like different. Like this, like that's what I'm saying. So like a bigger, like if if we're gonna get a bigger like boot or like a bigger loafer, like a thicker loafer. If this was like thicker, I feel like it it helps sc like scale out the whole entire outfit better. If, if you guys understand what I'm saying, like, I'm sure you guys get what I'm saying. See, I'm not using proportions. I'm, I'm stating scale, right? This, that's the next buzzword, because I'm saying it now. But, like, the scale, which is in reference to size, the scale of the shoes, don't it doesn't match the giant, like, silhouettes that we're going with here, right? The silhouetting of, like, everything else is, like, quite huge. Very, like, the denim's very um, structured. 
the trench coat seems to be structured. Like, I don't think this is a cotton. Um, I wonder what this is. It looks very thick, though. I'm assuming this is like a wool cardigan. Again, like, th these materials are quite structured in, 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 in nature. The leather, like, I'm a, these are like leather loafers. Great choice. But, like, again, the scale of, like, everything else is massive. This is, like, too skinny. I do like the outfit, though. I do also like this green. The green seems random, but it works, just because browns. It's like a brown. Thanks for the 99 cents, Jacoby. I'm not, I'm just, I'm going to pass this, because he's trolling. Oh, fire. Okay, you sent the front. You sent the front of the, the outfit. All right, sick. That's what I was, that's what I was waiting for, this, this outfit specifically. Yeah, dude, this is what I'm telling, this is cool. I'll mess with this. What is the jacket, though? I like the textures going on. I don't hate this outfit. I think it's a, it's a cool outfit. And then we also have this, like, is that chrome? If you're in chat right now, is this chrome? Can you identify this piece right now? Is this chrome? No, this is this is the same outfit. He sent the uh, the picture of it in the front. The denim's cool too. I don't really I don't I don't defenders are fine for me, like the jackets no faith studios. Uh, I have a gripe with them, but like I'll let it I'll let it slide. No he's gatekeeping. It's C C two H eight. Is it C2H4? I feel like the branding would be really apparent if it was C2H4. Oh, the chain is C2H4. Is it though? I mean, I don't, I don't think it is. Yeah, because, like, they make this chain. Like, this specific chain, they make this. Which is brass, which sucks. Um, I know my I know my C2H4 stuff. Like, I used to be a fan of their stuff. I, I mean, I, I have some of their pieces. Like, they make, like, giant ch uh, chain wallet stuff. Like, but the, I hate the thing about, like, the thing I hate about C2H4 is that, like, it's brass usually, um, unless they change stuff, but give me a second viewers. I, I'm it's, so the colors like, dude, is there no description? See, it's like stainless steel. Oh, it's stainless steel. Okay. Like they used to do like a painted brass that was silver and I thought it was stupid. Why would they do that? Oh, uh, good outfit. All right. Let's see, let's see. Dude, I wish like, I don't know if it's Discord doing this, but like the image quality is so bad. Um, Yeah, cool outfit. I like the use of colors. Uh, Clear plastic. Okay, my personal gripe with this is that, like, we have, this is, kind of, so, <laughs> okay, I, I, I mean, I, I'll make a video on this later, but a long time ago, two, about, like, two or three years ago, I made a video talking about disconnected and connected outfit theory, which is something I came up with uh, a long, long time ago. Like, this was a theory of mine, but the disconnected connected outfit theory, you might have heard a more simplified version of this, which is called the sandwich theory, which I think is stupid, but, like, a connected outfit is when it's in referring to colors that match, that have, that create connection. So, your connection piece is the middle piece of clothing of color. This is based on color theory. And... If the color matches the bottom, there's a connection being made, or if the color matches the top, there's a connection being made, right? So this is a connected outfit on the bottom here, 
we have a connection which allows it to create elongation and or more of a flow to the outfit, right? The flow will stop at the top here, which is a different color, but that's fine. As long as two pieces match, you have a connection going on, right? That's that's what I, it's like matchy matchy sort of situation. With the disconnect, I like I'll show an example. If I can find a disconnected outfit here, let me see. Okay, like this uh, this is a great example of a disconnected outfit, right? Different color, different color, different. Usually people will match the top of the bottom, but usually disconnected outfits don't really look uniform. Like, okay, this is a great example. A lot of fitwear people do, like a lot of streetwear people do this. They'll match the top with the with the shoes, right? So it's white and white. And this creates a disconnect because the color here in the middle is not connecting the either or of these these pieces, right? Uh, so it, it creates a, a weird, like, again, a, a weird disconnection. There is no flow. It feels like it was interrupted. And, like, visually, it, it appears very not so uh, so appealing to the eye. When you notice a lot of connected outfits with, like, if this was connected with, like, a darker shade of color, there tends to be more of a more appealing and if not in long, like, it's more flattering to the eye, I'd say. No, I don't think it, I don't think it's reading into it too much. Uh, when it comes to theories, I think they're fun to make. But if you notice, I, I want you guys to notice and take, take into account this. Outfits that have, there's, there's a way to combat in this, right? This is disconnected, but it still it still is fine. But for the most part, there's something that doesn't flow right with me in my brain when it comes to outfits that tend to have a connection going on with usually the bottom, right? A lot of uh, a lot of black wearers do this all the time. Like, this is a disconnected outfit, but we have some, um, some overlay with black. It's just, like, usually, like, connected and disconnected outfits can get too basic looking when it's just matching very, like, normal things together, when there's not enough layering or other things helping divert the eye from the main, main foundation of the outfit. That's just like my, like this, there's so much going on here that helps, if not alleviate the eye from just focusing on the basic, like the basic main part of the outfit, which is just the pants, the shirt, and the shoes. There's a lot more going on that helps create more, uh, more distinction in the outfit. I'd probably have to make a video about like what I'm talking about in more, in more, uh, explanation, but I'll do that. I'll do that some other time. It's a working theory. Oh, this is horrible. I hate, I hope this is a troll. In short, JQ thinks that proportions make the old money core into corp core and to leave a little soft boy. This is horrible. I hope this is a troll. I hate this. This has to be a troll. You're wearing you're wearing like tight Arm Armani jeans with Yeezys. This isn't this has to be a troll. Please tell me this is a troll or else I'm being an asshole. Or else I'll feel mean, but like I hate this. From shitty photo plus I need boots. No dude. No, 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 no. He's unsubbing? No. Look, if people didn't want me to roast their outfits, they wouldn't be here, right? Okay, chat, like, guys, fellas, can someone say one nice thing about this outfit in, in, in chat? Can someone say one nice thing about this outfit? No, 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 <laughs> he's not, he's not going to hate fashion. 
<laughs> it's unique. It's brave. All right, all right. We we got some stuff here that that's workable. Like I feel like the shirt and long sleeve. I just like let's take off this. This is fine, all right. The top's fine, but like when we go down below this, I I don't know what the, what I I can. I like. Ugh. It's hard for me to like. I can't physically, like, I can't mentally, I, uh, the, uh, I'm unstable right now. Um, no, this is, dis this is connected because the two blacks meet in the middle here. Your main connection piece are your legs because it's a giant piece of, your legs are the, the most, the biggest part of your body are your legs. And that's the usually huge emphasis on, I think, why pants make or break outfits a lot of the times, because it creates, it has so much, your legs, so much surface level, like, they're huge, your legs are long, longest part of your body, usually. Okay, the top's fine, like, this is, this is workable, but, like, down here, we got, we got some work to do, um... We never want to accentuate the legs to the point where it's gripping... We got we got pants that are gripping your thighs and 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 calves. Um, and then to top it off, denim with a a runner like a Yeezy is like an athletic runner. I I don't I don't like I don't like it. I think society doesn't like it, and I think chat does not like the Yeezys and denim fit like. Uh, you only usually wear that with, like, athleisure. You got some tree trunks, though, man. I definitely think that going for a either regular to wide fit type of pant will do you a lot more justice than, um, a very skinny pant. Uh, if you're gonna go skinny ever, then you have to stick to skinny up top because just visually, like, uh, you can't. I mean, is my... Don't listen to me. Where did... The outfit was deleted. I'm so sorry. He... I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, this must have been real. Like, this wasn't a troll. If you're still in chat, I'm sorry. Like, you asked for it. You asked for it. I, this is, that's, I can't, I have to be, like, I have to be honest. I'm so sorry, man. Um, okay, I was gonna say, I just think, dude, like, getting more of a bit like dude i have big thighs too my guy like i learned when i was younger that wearing tight pants bro it just doesn't work for us man like i i understand where you're coming from like i wish i could wear really tight jeans but when you got t tree trunks man you can't do it it doesn't look great Sorry, that was a uh, that was me smacking my lips. Oh my gosh, I I did not know that this camera can pick up me like my mouth, bro. What the hell? I could do ASMR with this camera. Maybe I should, uh... Should have spammed the hell. I don't have a, I don't have a soundboard. I can't afford it. Okay, we got multiple outfits, bro. I gotta pick one.
I know if I if I got a soundboard it'd be so much better. <laughs> I think these outfits are cool. The only thing I'll say is that like I hate when pants like this is like block this is very blocky. If that was your goal, then you made it, but it's very blocky. Very Minecraft though. You look like a unit. Are you are you a unit of a man? I appreciate it though. Dude, I could draw like a like squares. That's crazy. I'm sure this doesn't look like that when you take your pant like your hands out of your pants. It's like a rectangle. You don't look that short. Th like you look short in this picture, but then we go over here, you look decently tall. I like the pants though. You must have wide shoulders cuz like I can I can tell like considering Dude, I I feel it. I get it. Having wide shoulders, man, there's only so much you can do. Dude, yeah, I have wide shoulders, man. We're built like Doritos, bro. That's just the unfortunate thing. I mean, I like your outfits. It's just this this outfit just insanely like squared, I, like rectangle. I feel like a lot of the times I try and get like uh, pants that like, or things that cinch around my waist to create more. Um, oh, what's the word? I don't want to say flattering, but like that creates more. Uh, what's the word, bro? Women, women talk about it, like, cinching. It's not cinching, but, like, I don't even want to say structure, but, like, shows off your figure, right? So that it helps, like... A bit. Like, I mean, I like to hide my figure a lot, but, like, I also don't want to look too boxed out, unless that's your goal. But I also don't think that this is really boxy, because I'm assuming it's just, like, your hands and your pants, though. That's what I'm assuming. All Yoshi. Dude, why do you got the dogs out? I'm not rating this. The fact that you got the dogs out? Oh, wait. I, I gotta go... Wait, I gotta pause stream, but like... Oh, God. I, I gotta go get this package, bro. Oh man, all right. Ugh. Oh. Holy. Oh. I'm 
I'm out of coffee now, too. Jeez. I'm out of breath. <sighs> Holy smokes, dude. It's not from the easy dude. Dude. Oh. Dude, I, I do cardio, man, but it's just like... Uh, dude, stairs just kill me, and I also ran today. Oh. Um... I hate the sandals. I know, it's, it's always all black. Oh god. Uh, um, wow. 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 Um, I'm gonna leave that. I'm leaving. Yeah. Wow. Uh. Um. All right, let's move on. We got see. Okay, this is I, this is how I feel like you wear slim slim fitting clothes. Well, like everything's quite slim. This is giving me something though. I'm trying to like think of like what this. This is like a pastor after church. You know, when he wears his sleek outfit <laughs> with the turtleneck. Very dapper man. Oh, yeah. Serial killer. I see that. This is the guy that jogs up to you and then stabs you and then walks away. Oh, interesting. Pickenberg bat jacket. I like the jacket, though. I do like that collar. It's like exaggerated. It's huge. You thought that was Gojo? A Bottega bag with, what is it, Issei pants? Yeah, those are like Issei wide pants with some Burks. Is that a, what are those necklaces called? The, the puka shell necklaces? This is a calm outfit. I, I don't really have much to say. It's like, is this the same dude that like sent the streetwear outfit? Let me go, let me go ponder. Oh, it's gone. It was you, huh? It was. I recognize the face. I was just trolling now. Oh my gosh, dude. This is crazy. Yeah, this is why you don't like, see this is a big dude. This is why you don't wear giant like skinny pants and stuff. I'm only gonna look at the outfits that like have, like this is crazy photography. Look how crisp these pictures are. My man, dude. A band bro for wasting people's time. Dude, look at this. This outfit, I, I might not agree with the cap, Dude, I, I like, I don't like the pants. 
I wish they were longer. I'm assuming those are Guidis as well, right? The pant, like the pants length, are like they make you look like small. Yeah, like, I mean, these pants probably fit you, but like, it just creates this weird uh, cutoff. Look, I, I understand your pain with being, like, tall. And, like, I'll find pants that fit me, but, like, the length is, like, so... It's, like, cropped on me that I already know visually, like, it'll look make me look like my legs are so much smaller than they are. The glasses are regards, like... I'm pretty sure the glasses are regards. It's a cool outfit, I just... I think, like, the, uh... If the pants were, like, longer, like, two more inches longer, I think it would be chill. I, I know those glasses anywhere, they're regards. Bottega Veneta, I want these Chelsea boots. Wait, are these Rick? I think they're Rick. Or they're both... I think they're Rick. I like the tucking of the pants. I really like when people tuck pants... Like, if they're big, big pants like this, very voluminous. Oh, it's Bottega? Okay. I was right. It's a good use of color, too. I mean, the bag is colored. It matches like a little bit of the jacket with the oranges. I think that this outfit's done pretty well. I don't hate it. A lot of black though, with uh, some pops of color. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't wear the I wouldn't wear the hoodie personally, but it has a lot of character. <laughs> oh my God. Mods are unhinged. This is what I mean by, like, when people take pictures, like, the, I'm a, like, I'm, you look tiny, but, like, I can tell, well, can someone approximate the, the length, the height of this pole to this man? He has to be, like, 5'8", I think. The camera needs to be, like, angled higher up. Like, whenever you take pictures, you want it to be angled where you just have this amount of space from your feet. Like, right there. So, like, it would capture everything from this point up. That's how you take a good picture for your... for just in general. That's a calm fit. Chill. Short uh, Rick Owens with Rick Owens docks. I need to see the whole outfit. A cover in your face. I'm not. I'm not that mean, guys. Hmm. This is like the, this guy smokes cigarettes outside and looks at me like I'm the stupid one for not smoking when I'm outside. These guys tell you you're pretentious, but they're pretentious. These guys hate on people secretly, but say they're nice guys. I don't trust these guys. These guys go to thrift stores, and when you see them there, you know you gotta leave. It's a cool fit. The length is long, though. Like, these pants are huge. I don't really have much critique. I mean, like, I feel like these, these outfits are, like... Male manipulator vibes. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm just I'm just assuming that the uh, the pants are just really wide. I mean long. And I'm curious off if this is like high waisted or if it's belted on the uh, the hip. But they look like they fit them. He is wearing a bandana though. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with this outfit. It's simple. Last post re was regrettably not sad tie. Here's a better fit. <laughs> this is better than the... Stop wearing the Yeezys, bro. Oh man, dude. Uh, personally, look, I'm gonna play music while I while I go through all this, like. I just don't understand. <sighs> like Yeezys are really like they're they're a sporty shoe, right? They're a very sporty shoe, so Are playing um, C418 right now. <sighs> Why are you eating? <laughs> can can we talk about can we talk about the the DoorDash order that's in your room? Can we talk about the DoorDash order in your room? This is like Paul. Paul, why is this you, bro? He got the DoorDash order in his room. Ugh. Friend, we need we need to help you, man. We need, we need to, uh, there's so much work. The jacket's fine. I don't know, man. It, it, it's not over. We just, uh, I, I don't know what to do here in this, con considering this. Is this like a cut? Like I need I need outfits that are like when when you're when you're standing up. When you're laying down, outfits can look like normal, but there we go. See, this is like, this is what I mean. Like these, see, these are great pictures here. Like this is what I'm talking about. Like fit pictures wise. We need, we, I need to see outfits like this. Look at how kind this, this man looks. This, this man looks kind. <laughs> this guy looks like a kind guy. <laughs> he looks like a kind soul. This outfit's bonkers. Personally, I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with this outfit. It's not it's not bad. Bro looks like a good influence. <laughs> 
the halo effect. And I, oh, what the hell? This is from LA. That's an like that's like an LA um was it table tennis? That's like from Los Angeles. Are you from are, are you in chat right now? Are you from LA? Are you from Los Angeles? Yeah, Little Tokyo Table Tennis. Are you from LA? Or did you buy this on Grilled? Because I've seen people buy it on Grilled. It's corny. It's from Portland. I'm. You're from Portland. Did you travel to LA to, bu to buy this? Dude, it's, uh, anyone that's like in Portland always looks like like they're kind. Yeah, I mean, this outfit's fine. Like, I don't... It's calm. I don't really have anything to roast on it. Ah. Alright. Ah. I think, like... I mean, take this lightly from a dude who's wearing the governor, the governor, uh, like, vintage t-shirt on, but, like... I don't, there's something about leather jackets to me when it comes to like, are you? It's the texture. I think that's what it is. I think it's a texture. It's like a. Uh... Like, we have really dark blacks, and then th this is a very light color of black, and, and, like, the way the leather is, if it was a darker leather, I feel like it'd make, m it'd feel a lot better, or if, uh, this is hard to, like, explain, but I just feel like it requires something of lighter darkness or shade of color to, to kind of accent off of this, because this is a very, like, I don't know, there's like, it's, it seems off to me. It doesn't blend. I, I am nitpicking, cause like, I have to nitpick. Again, like, I'm roasting people's outfits, right? I can't just be like, this is fire. I guess it matches the hat a little bit, it does. But like, it feels empty down here. I feel like if it was like a cot, if this was cotton or like a wool, like it, it would mesh a lot better, but like leathers tend to take a very huge focal point in a lot of outfits. And that's why I'm like always thrown off by leather jackets. I love leather jackets, like they're sick, but like it's so hard to, to mesh it well with like a cotton that's that tends to look very, uh, like these pants are like not like a denim, like structured, Oh, it's hard to explain. Um, I need to ponder more on, on like my explanation of like this denim, the denim wear. But a lot of the times people that wear denim either wear it with, I mean, sorry. A lot of the times the people that wear leather either wear it with other le like leather pants and it looks well or denim. And like those two materials tend to be very constructed and very thick compared to your, your, uh, your twin, the cotton, your cotton blends that are like this. Trousers work well. I think it's just the texture of like How it looks like denim seems to look more abrasive while a cotton pant Tends or twill twill looks really good with I feel like denim and also leather like leather jackets like twill jackets uh, This is uh, once again another great outfit like in terms of pictures this is what I'm, I'm referring to. Um, I don't hate this. Like, dude, this coat's sick, though. The Riddler? <laughs> 
I think the only thing that throws it off for me is the... If you threw a brown pair of, like, loafers or, like, a brown pair of dress, dress shoes, I think it'd, it'd look awesome. I do like how this, the color of the, the undershirt matches the the inside liner of, of this, I'm assuming, the lining of this. This is a very cool uh, coat, though. It's just the, the shoes for me are throwing it off with the the white, the white laces. If there was more black and whites incorporated, then I think it could make more sense, but uh, the coat's sick, though. The very earth tony. This is a disconnected outfit. If you notice the gray creates a disconnect between the two colors here, right? If this was black, it would connect with the bottom and the top. And if you, I don't know, just a normal fit Balenciaga hat, Valenci hat. I do really like this outfit though. I like the coat though, the coat's really cool. Why do the pants look like different colors in, in each, what the hell? Does anyone notice that? It's like green and then it's like a, a yellow color. Before and after piss. They're different pants? There's no way. Are they? They're not. They're not different pants. They're the same pants. Oh, what the hell? I have two different cursors? That's so strange. Uh, I have no clue why that is. <laughs> what the hell? I'm assuming it's my, um... That's strange. I'm actually not entirely sure why that is. Whatever. Ignore, ignore the cursors. Ignore the cursors. this <sighs> epic Paul what do you what do you think about this outfit with the Rico and Rico and Doc Martens with the I'm assuming Rico and shorts I don't like the sweater either. Hate, hate, hate. Why do you why do you hate it, Paul? Explain why you hate this outfit. Mad little miss, what what is your outfit? What's your name? What 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 is your name? You've been asking me to roast you. I don't know what your name is on Discord.
<laughs> the sweater speaks another language. Wrythe is the name. Did we pass by it? Did we pass by it? I'm assuming we did, because I don't see it. Yo, what the hell? <laughs> what, do you, what did he say? Your... You cut the pants into shorts. You did not make them. <laughs> Reith or she said Reith. This is. Wow, this is crazy. Um, <laughs> you cut the pants, you did not make them. I have to agree with this. <laughs> Man, these are like above, like these are tiny. Like these shorts are mad tiny. They're they're so short. I feel like if you sit down, you're like your your shit's gonna like slip through. Like your snake's gonna be like pulled through. Like, did you cut your shorts to like show off your tattoo? Like the tattoos here, you had to show this off. Did you also cut your jet your hoodie? Like. <laughs> you like you you cropped your hoodie but you didn't you didn't cut the the zipper and the zipper pull off to and change the zipper to make it cropped No way that's insane I would not trust this man. See, this is how you take fit pics. Dude, holy sh holy crap, the boots are huge. Aren't these the steroid, um... Steroid boots, right? These are massive. I don't like... The thing is, it's hard to critique outfits that are just, like, normal. Like, I don't have... Like, I can't hate on this. Like... There's, like, not much to say. There, it's just, like, chill. The new rocks. It's like a normal outfit. Like I don't, I wouldn't hate on this. Like I'd see it in public and be like, "What if we're cool?" Not my taste, but like, cool. Like they're normal. Like this is cool. By like, comfit, chill, low calm. I I do like the new rocks though. Like, if you guys understand what I mean by, like, the bigger boots with, like, a more of a flare, like, it adds more, uh, depth and dimension to an outfit. If something was, like, if you, if he had a smaller, like, shoe, I feel like it would create a weird, like, distinction. Like, it would just, it would be weird. It'd be strange. The scaling of, the, of these boots match, like, the, the, the giantness of this stuff. 
If you're gonna go big, go big. Don't go, or go home. Big boot, small pant is better. B big boot, small pant? What? We saw what a big, we saw what big shoe, the Yeezys with the, the tight pants earlier. We, we do not need to see those again. It's hard to see what this is, but it looks cool. I, I can't, I, I'm sorry. Like when it comes to all black outfits, like we need, we need like light to, to visually appear, to look. All right, this is huge. This is too big. This is, I'm gonna say it right now. I don't like how huge this is. I'm gonna be honest. I think this is too big. Like, it's like, it's so big that it, it, to me, it feels like it's, you're being consumed by your clothes. Like, I think there's a good, there's a good bit of like bigness, but this is like huge. Like it's consumed the shoes you're wearing. Oh, he's wearing Doc Martens. My friend, if you're gonna wear big, big pants, you need to get bigger, bigger boots. This is insane. <laughs> it's okay, but it screams, I just got Yoji and bought a bunch of ground Y. Pastor internship. <laughs> we need to downgrade your wardrobe. I just don't like how massive this is. Well, I can't always praise the outfits that have huge, like huge silhouetting of, of like of stuff. Like, I feel like there's a good balance. Like if I wore this, it'd probably look normal on me because of how huge I am. I, I will only give you mod if you're in chat. Uh, often and I, I recognize the name. The shirt's cool, but like, I wish I could see like in better lighting, like visually, like it's hard to like, again, differentiate blacks. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name then? Sleepy, what's your name on, on, on the YouTube? No, AR does not need mod and AR is not even in here. Right, I'll, I'll, ma I'll make you mod. I'll, I'll make you mod, you're baby bro. Look, stream can watch. I'll, I'm gonna make this man mod. Wait, I think I lost him. Where? Where? Wait. Wait, I lost you, my friend. AR is not here today. Oh, the music is C418. Um, sleepy, type again, bro. It, I lost you in chat. Too many people are talking. Oh, here. What if I just, like, kicked him? Uh, no, I'm not rewarding. This is, he's a mod in my server. He, if anything, I can trust him, Hangman. <laughs> you, you earned it through being in chat. Like, he, uh, Mr. Sleepy's been, all right, friend. This outfit's balls, bro. I wish I had, like, a bigger boot. Like, the docks make my, my feet look so tiny in this outfit.
Oh, who are you talking about? <laughs> who are you talking about? Who? Someone in chat? I still have these pants to this day. I've, I've had, I've had this, and I have this entire fit. So this, this coat, I found it in a different size, like a larger size, because this fits me so tight. And I found it in a size four, so two sizes bigger, and it fits me so much better now. And I, I traded this, this, uh, this coat for some other stuff. Yeah, so this is a runway piece. Um, these chains, so like you can't see it and it's full glory but it's it's cool it's a cool shirt nah you're a menace you're a menace nah 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 this, this is crazy nah this is insane nah <laughs> what I'm gonna ban, I'm gonna ban you. I have to ban you off of this post. This is crazy. Um. Nah, he look, <laughs> nah bro, it's like the Drake video. I think you should cut the short shorter though. How should, like, okay, you see this slit here? That must mean, this looks like a, like, you bought shorts, and then you were just like, you know what, might as well cut them shorter, and it, it just got to a length that was just so short, you just said, forget about, like, you, look at, like, it, I need another angle of these shorts, for the culture, for the culture. West Valley Paul what do you what do you think about this outfit I feel like what ruins it is the uh I don't know it's chill if I saw this I'd be like this guy like is getting into like trying to be more experimental with like the the bottom but then st sticks to streetwear up top I, there's something so streetwear to me when people like do they try to do like the skirt over pant thing, but it's like not fully committing to it. I don't know. A little shine. What is this though? Like what is... What is this fabric though? Like, I'm very confused. This is a very confusing outfit for me. No way. <laughs> Did you just meme yourself, bro? All right. I've seen this Yoji, this Yoji, like, this Yoji coat before, and I do want it. We need to see a front view, we can't see the side view. Are you in like your sister's room? Is that the Duolingo uh, owl? <laughs> the, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> Get a mirror in your room, bro. Or did you rush to your, uh, to this room to take this picture? I need to take, take notes on what a normal person would wear so that I could wear this in the, the Tinder video that I'm making currently. 
This is something I'd wear. I need to get denim like this. Happy maxing. <laughs> How many Russians are in, in my chat right now? I feel like I got a lot of like Russian audience. A normal person doesn't wear clothes. That's true. I need to see full fit pics, bro. Like, I can't get these, like, half. Like, are these all the same fit? Like, I'm very confused. This guy looks like, uh, that guy from Stranger Things. What's his name? Nah, nah, nah. Who's... What is that guy? Not that dude. Isn't it from 2? I think it's from 2. Oh, Eddie? Yeah. I don't know, there's something about his face. I hate how tight the skinny, the, the pants are, dude. like, dude, your, your thighs are asking you for help, man. Look, I've addressed this with every, with other people is like, when you got thunder thighs or like big thighs, you got tree trunks, you can't, you can't, you, you gotta let the thighs breathe. You gotta let the thighs breathe, man. I mean, other than that, it's fine. This is what I'm talking about, like, with leather jackets, this mesh is, like, it's, it's good. It's fine. I don't know what material this is, though. Buddy from Sure Things lives in a neighborhood that's, like, 90... He lives in your neighborhood, this guy? Dude, the skinny thigh to flare is what makes the fit good. Yeah, but it's like, it's like skinny jeans, but like, that are, I don't, oh, like the actual actor? Do I, I mean, personally, I, I wouldn't wear like hella tight pants around my thighs. I think it, it gets increasingly bad when like, you can see your underwear line or your crotch is just, you got bulge in your pants, like, that's how you know the, the pants are too tight. It's just like ill-fitting. Rock star energy? Wow, I can't spell. <laughs> what is this? You need... Nah. What is this? <laughs> What are, what, what the hell? <laughs> Dude, uh, I'm not looking at that. We need shoes, man. Put some boots on. <laughs> See, this is very, like, slim-fitting. It works well. It's, like, not a bad outfit.
Wait, can you explain to me the the elf? Wait, do wait a minute. Is that my shirt? I had this shirt. If it's If this is not my shirt, because I had this shirt, the shirt was cool. It's a double layered shirt. It's like double layered shirt, as you can tell, but like it's meant to be um you like you you're supposed to wear like a cardigan over it or like a coat and then like kind of zip it up so then it looks like you're wearing two shirts it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool shirt i just didn't really get much use out of it <laughs> i mean they they kind of have a hair down like not gonna lie that's pretty crazy, like the... That's pretty insane. I think ties... A square tie would be fire. I, I hate pointed ties now. There's something off about this, so I'm not entirely sure what it is, but like... I think it's the angling of the, sh the photo. Like, it just doesn't hit it for me. Uh, I'm not going to respond to this just because you got that out. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to respond to that one because you got that out. I'm, I'm chill. If you're packing heat like that, I, I'm, I don't know if I can... It's like... You're expecting people to get flamed? I, I will only go hard if some- if I get like, donations for that. Dude, what the hell is this? Nah, this is horrible. Isn't Ray like 14? Like... If someone rolled up in this shirt, like... Yo, can I bring my homie over and he like rolls up in this? I'd be like, that's not my homie, he's not chill. <laughs> this is not right. Yeah, this is crazy, bro. I, I, I don't feel. <laughs> like, it gets worse when you zoom in and like you actually look at it. No hangman when, <laughs> thanks for the five, but like. Talking about like actually roasting, like if someone sends me a dollar dono or more, I will roast their outfit. This is horrible though, like this is giving me um He probably smells. Like this is like a smelly outfit.
Dude, if you're wearing a 14 year old girl, bro, like on your, like, that's strange. I don't like that. All right, can can someone explain to me like the the sagging of like pants? Isn't that like really uncomfortable when you sag? Like I have a pair of shorts that like sag. It it, I, it feels very uncomfortable for me. Like, and I feel like my pants about to fall off. This guy, this the person that wears these outfits would rob me, considering um. Considering this other picture. Sags to show off the cheeks. Yeah, but Ray Ray's late thirties at the moment. Yeah, but like she uh This is so corny, bro. I hate this tattoo. I feel like <laughs> Imagine like <laughs> nah 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 nah. Imagine pulling your like sh your pants down and th this is like what's right below like right above your uh, your junk Like that's crazy and this and you got to stare at this Nah Imagine her POV yeah, that'd be insane We need we need to go back to a time where this dude looks like he's seven feet tall. Now, I don't know if that's just based off how the picture he took it, but sheesh. I hate this. Cargo, I mean... Ugh. Okay, so these cargo pants look like they came from AliExpress. I know that you got scammed for this Nike. I've never seen a Nike V-neck tank top. Unless that's a vest. This is pre-2023 JQ outfits. Is this a- I don't think this is a tank top. I think this is a vest. Because it's a v-neck. Unless the call- Like, that's a very strange tank top to be a v-neck. I think it's a- Yeah, I, I think he's wearing a sweater vest with like, no shirt underneath and then just tossed on cargo pants. The entire market came from the flea market. There, there is no way they're Yoji cargo pants. I have never seen, I have not seen these. You peed all of your pants? Bro. <laughs> Alright, again, you're just trolling, bro. Oh my gosh. Dude, the <laughs> this this jacket needs to be uncircumcised. ASAP. This is crazy.
Wow. Uh, I hate this. And I, I don't... I don't even want to give a reason why I dislike this. I'm just gonna- I hate this for no reason. Yo, big boy, relax. It's like paired with Zara, like Zara pants, Zara, Zara jogger pants with a, a yellow belt. If you're gonna go this crazy, like, don't go with color, bro. You might as well just go, like, with color. This is just intense. Like, imagine, like, I envision, like, the, the band kid wearing this to prom. Better call us the whole fit. <laughs> oh no. No, did you? You're wearing Issei? Wait. 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 Are these Issei or are these Zara pants? And then you have like these, the, the Whales Bonners. Did they even make these? Are these even real? These, why do these look like fake Whales Bonners? They don't, these don't look real. These are, they have to be the Zara pleats. There's no way. I gotta, hold up. I gotta clean my, my glasses real quick. I don't know if I'm seeing this correctly. You don't wear dickies with, with Issei. I, like, the... Unreleased Whales Bonner? <laughs> I've never seen these Whales Bonners before. Whales Boner? Oh, what? Oh, are these it? Holy smokes! Oh my gosh! Are these it? They're oh wait, they're 284. What the hell? They they were saying it was like five hundred dollars or something. Look at that price tag right here. It says five seventy eight. Five seventy eight. Is that's not real, is it? That can't be real. That can't be a real price tag, right? That's on Farfetch. There's no way. It's these guys, right? No way. They're that expensive. No way, that's crazy. What the hell? Dude, $500 for some whales bonners? Are you kidding me? That's insane. What? Okay, that subtle flex, right? This man, this man is subtle flexing. I don't hate this outfit. Look, this looks fine, but like, I hate it. Why are you wearing nylon pants with with some co like nylon? Anything nylon, like on below, is more of a. a I hate it. Slight flex. That's crazy, bro.
I would, this is what I would, this is my honest advice to you is I would sell these whales bonners, go and buy, what it like get four hundred dollars for that and go buy other things with that money like you could get so many other things like you get like two pairs of good pants for for this one item that's a shoe that it's not like i envision like the shoes you're wearing on your feet right now could be two pairs of something else like that's not this is insane It's like, would you prefer this one thing or would you rather get two other things? And if you're going with the Issei Miyakis, like, Miyaki, I just personally think, like, the whale's boners are not gonna, they don't mesh well. Like, dudes that wear whale's boners, it's always with denim or, like, a big, giant, big pant. Like, the thing about Issei is they're, they're comfortable, they're light, they're breathable, but, like, with this mixture of, like, Dickies, workwear, white shirt, like the the Issei pleats are not gonna work well with that. You like need, you need something else for this. The Issei pants are very specific. Like, it's a specific vibe. Like a very specific vibe. I mean, you could just wear it with a shirt and like shoes, but like. Ugh. I mean, you go based off like what people. This is horrible. I hate this outfit. That this outfit sucks. Your crib looks like a furniture store. Wow, yeah, that it does look like a furniture store. This outfit's so bad. Holy sh oh my gosh. Like you whoa. Wait, these are sick. Give me a second. All right, uh, sorry. Like this looks horror. I hate. I don't know. There's something about the the tapering of these pants that just looks so ugly to me. The <laughs> AliExpress, but like, this is like something, like you. It's it's really hard to wear those pants. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, it's usually dressed up. They're not really dressed down pants. Like, sometimes you can get away with it, but like, big tops. There's there's a vibe going on. I don't think the Dickies, the Dickies constructed look is gonna go well with something that's like a trouser. They're very light, very like, the movement of them is like, they drape a lot and like, you kind of have to work with that. You bought them from the Issei store? Bro, I'm telling you, man, like, you can get them for cheap. Like, I, I I recommend never buying anything firsthand if you can. Like, they're scamming you at the Issei store. How much are they right now? Like, is this going to be another flex? I hope it's not going to be another flex. How much? Aren't they, like, a few hundred dollars? Hold on, let me see. Oh! Oh, wow. Uh, oh, that hurts. They're like $300. Oh, boy. Oh, nah. What is this? I'm sorry, like... Uh, yeah... Dude, why did he spend why did he spend three hundred and fifty dollars? Three hundred is crazy. Yeah, no 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 no. That's crazy. Um dude, you can find them on Grailed for like two hundred bucks. Like you can get them for quite cheap. I just wreck doing that, honestly. Like that's Jake, you say you're poor? Dude, it's not about being poor. It's like, it's about like responsible spending, bro. Oh my gosh. Like, 
for a long time, like my my thing is like I like to get things for cheap. I don't care if I have stupid if I'm stupid breaded, I'm gonna be buying stuff, lowballing stuff because to me, that's so fire that I can tell my friends like, yo, I got these Yoji pants for 60 bucks, bro. Like, versus like, yeah, I, I spent a rack on these pants. Hell no. I'd feel like, nah, nah, nah. Per, like, you gotta, you gotta, like, the, the, the way you boss up in this industry is by getting stuff for secondhand stupid cheap. It's like, it's about the hunt for me. It's not really about, like, the pricing. Well, it is about the pricing, but, like, the cheaper you get something for, the better off, like, that hunt was, right? It's like hunting for deer. Nah, Warren, bro. Come on, man. Grailed? Dude. If you can't buy secondhand, bro, this is insane. I just don't understand the idea. But at the point, how do you know it's even real? You, you, uh... What you gotta do is you you gotta learn about the pants. You gotta you gotta smell the pants. You gotta feel the pants, and you just know. I think that's a fun thing about searching for things is that you learn how to authenticate stuff if it's real or not. And it's just like, I mean, I totally understand why people would rather just buy them from the store instead of like having to go do all these extra steps because you're you're avoiding having to do all those extra steps like looking for them, finding a good price, you know, so on and so forth. But like. Come on. I feel like that's what makes it fun. Secondhand shopping is so fun for me. And then like later you could sell them for like more money and make money if you, if you sell it for cheap. I mean, if you bought it for cheap. I'm assuming you went out to like go either get your mail or get trash. Like there's no way you went out like this. What are these like ballerina flats? I hate flat shoes. I hate ballerina flats. That's what I'm saying. Why spend a band for one piece when you get a bunch of new stuff? Like, I mean, a bunch of used stuff for cheap. You went out like this? Who let you? With these? With these? You're the quirky one of your friends, huh? You're the friend who puts on quirky outfits. Are you the fashion friend? You gotta be. <laughs> You're the friend that wears wacky socks. What are the pants? Like, what are these shorts? Are the, is it a skirt? Or are they, like, just, like... Are these, like, basketball shorts? I'm like intrigued. Emma Rogue is going crazy for this one. I'm dead. Yo, why this kid fitted, bro? Bro, you're... Come on, man. This child does not have drip. Get rid of him. Nah, I'm dead. This is not a real, this is, this is fabricated. This is not real. Everyone knows I don't be smiling like that. There's no way.
Dude, Warren, this sucks, bro. Dude, this is not even you, bro. Dude, this guy looks depressed. Look, I make really sad videos, bro, but like you actually encapsulate what I'm talking about in terms of sadness. Jesus. He's going through something. This is a guy that like sits back and smokes a cigarette and like tells you what you're doing, what you're doing wrong in your life. Wait, what? <laughs> it's a singer of a Joy Division? Wait, what? Is it? Yeah, bro, this is a guy that like, this is a guy at the club that like, This is the guy at the club that hits on your girl when you're standing next to her. And then he looks at you and then he continues to like hit on her, right? This is the bad boy of the group. Get rid of the striped shirt, man. Please. Please. Your stance kind of quirky, man. Okay, Gin's just trolling. There's... Yeah, I feel like... I feel like that's a good a good sweater to give your GF, to be honest. <laughs> Dude. This guy's tall. Alright, everybody take notes from this man. See, this is like another good out, like, this is a good representation of like a skinnier kind of like, look. Fashion, fashion school student. This is a fashion school student that's asexual, that doesn't like women, but also doesn't like men. And that all the women fawn for. Type outfit. Yeah, this is fire. Wow. I think this is, um... I think I follow this person on Instagram. If I don't, they look very similar. Because this... Asexual and doesn't like women and doesn't like men. <laughs> hates everybody. Uh, I think the shirt, like, the shirt translated actually stands for, it says, I, black is awesome and black is super cool and you should wear black. Uh, there's an extreme layering going on here. We got the, I think these are PL2s. With like a skirt. I'm assuming this is like a long shirt that's opened up and then a vest. The lining of the, the vest is black. 
Yeah, this is paired very well, I think. This outfit's very nice. If there was an axe and a white summer, it'd be awesome. That ain't Joe? Is it not Joe? Is this another person? Dude, how many how many final bosses are out there of these Yoji people, bro? This looks like Joe though. Oh my, this is the Walmart kid. This kid would, this kid goes to pubs and this, <sighs> two totally different kids here. He's smoking cigarettes. Why does this outfit make you look so much younger than what you are if you're smoking cigs? Unless you're smoking cigs illegally. This ain't this ain't the final boss. There's higher levels. Paul, then then post a fit pick right now, man. Show show what a final boss looks like, Paul. Me at night versus me at in the day. <laughs> Dressing like a a fifteen year old boy, and then like. A normal streetwear enjoyer. You look so Belgian. I hate the pants. They're like tight. What's with everyone wearing really tight pants? Like I'm assuming it's like a skirt like mixture in these like these pants, but like Like what is this? And then you got kiss heel boots. I like the shirt though. It needs to be ironed. We need better pictures, bro. Dude, look at all these people that are joining. Holy crap. All right, I'm banning Soul Wizard right now. Wait, 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 wait. This is like an outfit I'd wear if it was really cold outside and I was going to the supermarket and I just threw stuff on. That's kind of what this looks like. I, I like the, uh, the bulge here. It really adds. The lean gut. I got a direct message. Oh, it's Yak Carla. Bye bye. What's up, dude? <laughs> I'm streaming. Oh, no way. I am, yeah. I have stream? <laughs> What's up, chat? Ew. What's up, chat? They said who's this? streaming? What the I, fuck? I am streaming. On YouTube or Twitch? On YouTube, where else? Uh, we, have get on we have 206 chatters right now.
Are you playing League on stream? No. Hop on, dude. Show them uh, how good you are. Yeah. What's up, for? Haters mad for whatever reason. Dude, why are you so loud today? What the fuck? We all have we all have introductions. That's that's what's going on. When you join this Discord, you have to you we have a intro for everybody. Okay, hold on. Let me let me do mine. I guess. Yeah, I guess Wait, I'll have does to Chris have an intro? I don't know, I guess. Oh, Who are these people? <laughs> no. Huh? Huh? Oh, no. Nah. 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 My, my intro is going to be real tasteful coming in after that one sec. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, chat? <laughs> yeah. What's up, baby boy? <laughs> Oh, we got Big Busy. Oh, I gotta <laughs> leave. Nah, okay, that's... Nah, if he's in chat, I have to leave. That's That guy's crazy. Um, Yeah, we have no more outfits to look at. How did Kadeem affect your, uh, your legacy? He hasn't affected my legacy. They muted you in chat for sending yourself 20 years ago? What's your name? What's your name in uh, Discord? What the? How am I supposed to spell that? What the hell? <laughs> how am I supposed to spell that? Like. <laughs> I don't have those characters on my, uh... I'm not gonna call- I'm- ugh, that's too much work. If you can chat in, um, in gen chat, then you'd be able to do it. Yeah, you're not, you're not timed out. You're not muted. You're fine. Dude, this guy's, this guy's six foot and skinny. I'm telling you, man, that's a cheat code. I, I guess it's to stop people from spamming uh, fit picks. The links, the links pinned at the top of 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 the uh, of the chat here. Did you ten ten minutes slow mo this? Dude, Paul, just change it to like five, bro. All right, moving moving forward. All right, moving forward. Is this kid still not drip? That's what you'd wear at a that's what your parents force you to wear at like a when you got to like go to church or like the Passover. All right. Um. <sighs> All right. I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna chill out for a bit with with the, the fit picks. I like it's hard for me to roast when I'm going through like a bunch of different fit pictures. That's like it's it's pretty intense, right? Um. From now on, I'll do uh. I'll do like 
I'll do fit like I'll I'll rate I'll roast and or rate someone's fit pic if if we get a dono, and then you send it into what are you wearing today, then I'll do it. But from I, I'm not doing that again. That was uh, that was pretty tiring. I, I got tired of of rating. But yeah, that that'll be something. Only corp core fits. I'll, I'll rate people's outfits if on stream like I'll, I'll be like genuine about it but like I, I can't do I can't rate like everyone's outfits is insane or if I get a donation asking a question about needing help I can answer that on a uh, on stream i'm sure everyone else would uh would appreciate it too as well i'm trying to save up for that uh for that pc at some point that i do want to get probably do some other interesting things with stream thursday though tomorrow like tomorrow i have to go to this ugh, i'm going i'm doing it for the culture though but i'm going to this axe event that i was invited to so i won't be streaming well I can stream. I can stream tomorrow. Actually, I'm lying to myself. And then also, like, to add on to that, I'm also tomorrow. I'm putting out a video tomorrow as well. So that's also coming out. So I'll be streaming when that video comes out. Acts like the. Uh... Acts like the, uh, the, uh, the, the fragrance we all sprayed in high school. <laughs> I got invited to, like, an Axe, uh, dinner. <laughs> I'm doing it for the culture, though. I got, you gotta do it for the culture. You know what I mean? Jeez. What's what is an axe dinner? It's like okay, so it's like it's just like a dinner where they like invite you. <laughs> I I mean it's just like it's spawn like okay, it's like axe throws an event where they invite a bunch of people and then you go to that event. That's like what it is. Free, yeah, I know, free dinner. Exactly, that's the point. How do people that use Axe know me? <laughs> uh, I'm assuming they know me because of my YouTube channel, as well as like, I don't know actually. I also have management, so like that might be another thing, like I'm managed, and they invited me. I was at this other Axe event too as well, like last year, I was invited to that. Um, because someone that I randomly crashed into, like apparently he like hosted something, and they invited me last year too as well, so. My channel's, my channel demographic is, dude, I, I'm going to wear, I'm going to be wearing Orto Parisi when I, when I pull up. I have to use, I have to use Orto Parisi when I go to the Axe event. There's, there's no other reason. They don't ask, like, I, I, I don't know. I think it's just like an event that they throw to just have people there. There's gonna be there's gonna be creatures though. There's gonna be a lot of creatures there. It's gonna be an interesting event. Stream it? I don't think I could stream that. I also I don't have like a streaming kit to do that. Like I would have to like. 
Use my phone? That'd be fire though. I mean, I could imagine doing that. That'd be kind of silly. An IRL hating commentary? Dude, imagine, imagine like me, like I have like a, a an attachment and I'm just like walking around with an IRL, like IRL streaming and I'm like talking to like you guys like as if you guys were like right there with me, but you're not though because it's just my, my phone. That'd be really dystopian. <clears throat> really dystopian. I, I don't know if I'd want to do that. <laughs> Yeah, we all want to watch JQ sit in a corner with a cup. I, I, so I get assigned seating, so I'm going to be sitting, I'm going to be forced to sit with other people. Um, so I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can sit in a corner and just like be to myself. I, I would just, I don't know, I'll be amongst, amongst a bunch of people. That's a nightmare scenario. At you next time when you I can't at you bro I just I just be posting whatever people say in my DMs It's gonna be a bunch of awkward shit chat like what do you do? I mean mo I think most of it is going to be a bunch of influencers. I'm just gonna say I sell clothes. Usually I come up with a bit of like what I am. So I'm thinking like I gotta think about like what I what performance I want to, to, to state that I do. I'll say like, I style like one of this, one of the men, one of the managements, <laughs> someone in management, I style them and I, I buy a bunch of clothes. Oh, if I get seated next to Emma rogue, I would just be nice. Like, I don't, I'm not really great at these events though, because like I've been kind of like, <laughs> I'm not into fashion. Uh, if I get sat next to Emma Rogue, bro, if no one knows who Emma Rogue is, I hope, I hope that guy's not there. If I get sat next to Emma Rogue, uh, dude, I gotta show you who this is like. I gotta show you guys who Emma Rogue is. Emma Rogue is like, I don't see you guys know who, who that is, but she's basically this, this person that like makes these like, oh, I hate her. Like, I hate her content. I, I can't say I hate her cause I don't know who she is, but like, this is Emma Rogue. Like, She's this girl that makes this, uh, she makes a bunch of the, the content you say like, oh, what are you wearing to like, she gets like the most strangest creatures to like show up on her, uh, her videos. And I'm assuming that's what, what that is, dude. Like, who is this? Oh my gosh. Yeah, nah. Personally, couldn't be me. She's that how much your outfit is, girl, yeah. She was in a Sneeko video? Kadeem collab win. That's a great, that's a great, uh, that's a great, I, that could be a great, uh, great thing to do. <laughs> I'm going to be on a video someday when the channel dies out. <laughs> Why are you praying on my downfall? Are you praying that I, I don't make it? That I, I, I don't continue to prosper?
If so, that's... You're mean, man. Come on. <laughs> I would not want to go on the Pair Kings podcast. Everything, everything's going to die eventually. <sighs> I mean, yeah, but I think it depends on what, depends on how you play it, right? Look, I, I don't want to join any podcast and I, I like to stay out of the community of the fashion people to begin with, right? Um, if, if I can stay away as, as far away as possible to these like other fashion people, like that's kind of like, that's what I'd prefer personally. That's just like my main thing. Like I'd rather just stay in my lane, do me, and then just not go and join anyone's podcasts. You gotta shift a family guy under your vids or channel dev is coming sooner than expected. <laughs> you got an acronym? Oh, yeah. Hello, softy. I mean, I figured... I'd go on the Sisyphus podcast. Yeah, that's cool. Like, the thing is, like, I, I don't want to, like, I don't want to entertain like channels that are like fashion focused like i would entertain po like channels or podcasts that aren't fashion focused like if it was something completely different then i would totally be down to do it but i just don't want to join anything that's like fashion focused like at all like i do like sister 55 he's a cool guy No, it's not, it's not about being mysterious. It's just like, I don't, I don't like a lot of these fashion people, like behind the scenes, aren't the greatest people. And like, obviously you'll, you only know what people show you on the internet and like via me as well. I mean, sure. Like I do sh live streams and stuff and you can get like a sense of my personality, but like a lot of these dudes, like I just don't trust anyone and I'd rather not be associated with somebody that Especially these, like, fa again, like, these fashion people, bro, like, I just, I don't, I hear things about them, and I just, like, would prefer to stay in my, like, stay away from any of these fashion, sh these fashion people. Like, doing collaborations and stuff is, like, what people try and do to survive or, like, continue to get more viewers and stuff, but, like, I just, like, it, it's just not great, and it's, I don't, I don't want to also, like, be associated with a lot of people, so... I'd also not rather be associated with any fashion YouTuber, God forbid. This JQ guy should do a podcast with fashion elitist. Need info from other places that are not fashion, I get you. It's not really, like, inspiration, it's just more like, again, like, these guys, like, I just... I don't know, dude, it's just like... I just would prefer to stay in my own lane and do my own thing alone. Honestly, your takes on the fashion community is super vague. <laughs> what do you mean? It can also be very shallow. So it makes sense you don't want to be a part of it. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, that's like, that's a big part of it. Cause like one of my questions would be like, if I wasn't known or if I didn't have a presence, would these guys care to talk to me? Would these guys care to even look my way and like, you know, like be friends with me, right? What is the motive for them to be friends with me besides like the possibilities of collaboration or making content, right? Or just the fact that I that I'm associated with them, right? I don't like that idea, and I, I don't like that just in general. 
I would prefer people just not knowing who I am to begin with and then moving forward from that. But personally, I just, I'd rather not risk it and find out later that they've known who I was and they, they just wanted to be associated with me. So I just prefer to stand again, stay like to myself and stuff when it comes to just things in general. Then why are you going to the dinner that's gonna be full fashion? Well, it's not fashion influencers, it's just influencers in general. But I told myself that if I get invited to any events or anything, I've always turned them down, that I would go because I need to live life and experience things regardless of how cringy it might be. I mean, I might meet people that don't probably know who I am, like to begin with, like, I think, it would i think it's also funny if i have a story like again if i'm just trolling at this event if i just go and like i make up lies or something it's it would be fun i don't believe in networking i've never networked in my life and i don't believe to i don't want to network with people unless it's like a genuine thing like i met them didn't know anything about them and then they just so happen to be like friends with someone who was really important like I gotta rehorse my story. I think my story is gonna be like, I kind of missed out a lot of, on a lot of things because they were cringe. I mean, yeah, like I get one, I get free food with a free dinner. I can't pass that up. And then like, I get to like go and like, look at all these like people. <laughs> like I get to see how people interact with each other. Like it's fun to see that. Um, I also get to lie, like, that's super fun. Like I can make up, like I, I'm gonna think of something to like, to talk about. I usually do that. I'm usually pretty good on the fly too. Um, it depends on if they know me or if they don't know me, but I like to do that a lot of the times and it's always super fun because a lot of people don't know who I am really. Like I'm very, I'm like niche-ish, you know, like I'm decently known and on YouTube considering like, if I told someone like, oh, I have 100K on YouTube, they'd be like, oh, wow, that's like a pretty good accomplishment. Uh, but if I was like, I have 100,000 on Instagram, it's like, oh, everyone has that, you know? But it's like, I think it's fun to observe people in those environments a lot of the times for me. And I also think like, I don't, I don't allow myself to go experience things because I'm afraid of it being cringe or I know it's going to be cringe. But like, if I think about it, if I'm like, this is going to be fire and it's going to be super funny later, then I can get myself to go and do it. So like, it's like, why not? Why not just go and do that? Go enjoy it and experience life regardless if it's going to be cringy or fake, whatever. As long as I'm myself, I don't care. I don't care to like, my thing is like, I don't care to network. I don't care to like meet these people because they're going to make some, like give me something. I don't want to be made off somebody else. Like I want to know that like I got to where I was at by making good content, by making and working hard on my own, not because someone else got me to where I was at. You know what I mean? That's just kind of like how I view things. Like I, I, yeah, I might be a sociopath. <laughs> I, plus, I get to, like, talk about it. Like, I'd be like, yo, I went to the Axe event and talked to you guys about, like, how it was good content. Make sure to record it. <laughs> uh, nah, everyone at NYC are dick writers. I mean, you could say that about everybody, right? I mean, that's, I think that's just kind of how it is. Yeah, I know, I agree with you. Uh, I agree with you, Zed. I mean... Unfortunately, when you get past, when you get towards a level of being somewhat large on the internet or having like an internet presence, like it's really hard to like make connections with people, um, especially not knowing where their intentions lie. I've been alone a lot of my life, so it's nothing new for me and I think it's fine. I personally like to interact with people like in passing, but like you know, making friends is just a different story. And I get why people in the community of like the internet just only like are friends with other influencers, but I just don't like, I don't like a lot of influencers. I, I don't like the, 
the culture, it's not really my, like, my speed. I'm friends with some, like, some influencers, some dudes that are influencers, but, like, most of the time I don't really like most of the people I interact, and that's okay. Overspray and excusable, excusable evils before going. That fragrance I've seen on TikTok going kind of crazy, which I'm surprised. It To me, it doesn't smell that bad. It just smells like baby powder. Like it just, it that's, that's it. Do I feel like an imposter among these influencers? No. I feel... Let's see. How can I express this without sounding like too insane? I think I'm, I think I'm on a different level in terms of what I produce in terms of content that I make. I mean, I make YouTube videos, like I don't make short form content. Like I have made short form content in the past, but like, I'm not really known for that. I, well, I guess somewhat, but I feel like I get noticed more for my YouTube channel, which to me is a lot more, uh, Is like, I think it's more respectable because like the thing about YouTube is it's so hard to like, one, it's hard to make good videos, long videos that are good, that are decent to watch. It's hard to gain an audience on, on YouTube that people, of people that actually enjoy your content. Cause like, dude, I could watch myself for a minute, but like, imagine watching myself for like 15 minutes. Like that's, that's kind of a commitment. You know what I mean? Like, watching somebody for longer than 15 minutes, like, that's a commitment. And Versus someone, wa like, watching somebody for 30 seconds, you know? And, like, I appreciate everyone that watches me on, like, my YouTube channel, like, a lot. Like, I wouldn't be where I'm at without, like, I mean, you guys watching or anyone that has came past in my other live streams. Or that watches the content that I make and, like, I'm appreciated and, like... I feel the support from, like, the people that support me uh, a lot more than I ever felt, like, when I was on Instagram or TikTok because, again, that short-form content's garbage. Like, sure, I might make, like, introspective videos, but I can't, like, deep dive in, like, my thoughts and my ideas and put it out in, like, a one-minute video at most. If not, that's going to kill engagement because that's the idea of TikTok and, and Instagram reels and shorts. Like, the whole idea of that's, like, creating brain rock content that like constantly jingles keys to these like children that are watching this content or even grown ass adults like myself watching this content to just keep their focus. It's like, I get it. I get like doing it. I totally understand doing it. Cause I've, I was there, I was doing it too. And I'm still doing it. I make content sometimes for, for TikTok and stuff when I wear outfits or like whatever. My engagement, my videos aren't like insane anymore i don't get like crazy views like i used to because i don't play the game i don't care to what about using these shorts videos as a tease for your longer videos would would people switch from see that's the thing like look i'll tell you guys right now when i started doing tiktok the main idea was to get people to go to my youtube channel so that i can have like kind of like a little bit of a subscriber base so that I can hopefully push forward my my longer form videos. But I got trapped by the engagement fraud that like I was like, I was so, I say engagement fraud because it's like TikTok will, again, like TikTok will push your content if you keep posting videos and it gets you like in this loop of feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go somewhere, but you don't. So like, I was like, I, I was like super fixated, like, okay, if I get a large following on TikTok, then I can push that, that the, the TikTok viewers to like my YouTube channel. And like, I was getting millions of views, a hundred thousands of views. Like I was doing really well for myself on TikTok. I got no, I got no sponsorships. I got no money from TikTok. I was working a dead end job. Like, and I was going to college while doing all this stuff. I was miserable. And I was like, this is not working. Then Instagram reels popped up and they were like, we're doing reels, blah, blah, blah. Like, so I started posting my TikTok over to my Instagram reels. And like, I was getting like, again, I was going crazy with views. Like I was getting a lot of views and I was like, oh wow. Like 
maybe I could do something with this. I hit 100,000 like followers on Instagram, which was like huge back then, but now everyone has it. And I was like, I was like confused, like by, like I, I was successful, but at the same time I wasn't. And I was like, okay, now that I have 100,000 followers on, on Instagram, maybe I can push everyone to go to my, my YouTube. That was not the case. Like I tried making videos, like I would make specifically videos from like new content to help push to like my YouTube channels. And like, I had gotten, like I got an, I got one video to like 1.1 million views and I got no subscribers from that. People did go watch the video that I told people to go watch. Like it was only like 20,000 people from that 1.1 million view video. 30,000 people did that, but no one subscribed. And at this point I was like, I think I just have to grind YouTube and like, I just have to stick to it and like continue posting my videos, continue like just improving the content that I'm making on YouTube. And like, when I was like, I was like in a rut, I was like making videos like, so I'm happy that I have a hundred thousand on, on, on Instagram. Like it's cool. Um, I like, I'm able to sell clothes on that platform. I'm able to like make money from that platform through selling clothes. Cause I have like a large audience base of people that like the clothing I wear, whatever. But none of those people, like maybe a small amount of those people like probably subscribe to me, but it like nothing translates to YouTube. Like Instagram and TikTok, those those people that use those apps stay on those platforms. They do not like to move over. Instagram, uh, if I can give you a chart, like this is some knowledge. If I can give you a chart, this is for me analyzing. Like I'm I'm an analyzer, I'm a marketer. Like I know how the, the system works, but like Instagram, okay, TikTok is the worst viewer base you could ever have. Just because you have a million followers on TikTok, it means nothing. It does not translate to anything. They are the most, they're like the least loyal subscriber base or following base you could ever gain. And I would say one below, like one above that would be Twitter, if that even matters, but it doesn't. Then it goes Instagram. Instagram's a little bit more like more interactive, a bit more like willing to go and do things, but like not so much. They don't really care too much, but then YouTube is like one of the biggest platforms for people that are actually loyal, that care about what you're making and you as a person. Uh, I, like, and I've never felt like supported by any of those other platforms. Yeah, yeah, TikTok is short form videos like like TikTok, like it's, you get a short term person that isn't willing to invest in witnessing you grow as a person and also like seeing your content transform. They don't care. They just, they enjoy the short form content of dopamine that they gain. They're not in it for the long run. Like the people that support me, the people that watch my streams, like these hunt, the 130 something plus people in here right now that have been watching me stream. It's like, that I, you guys are like the most support, supportive, like, I guess, group of people, right? Compare. And then like, it would go to like my YouTube, like everybody that's there. If I continue streaming longer, like, and I have like more of a, like a schedule, dedicated schedule, which I'm trying to do now, we'll get more people in here. And like, I get to interact with like all these people, but it's like, I would never get that from, from TikTok or from Instagram. Like, Reels is fine. Like, look, I'll tell you any, anyone in here right now, if, if you're trying to make like be a content creator, or whatever, just post on reels, just see what happens. But like in terms of you gaining like a loyal audience, it's, it's not going to be very likely. Anything short form is going to be preceded with short form people, like very short term people, anything long form people that are willing to like sit and watch your videos for longer than two seconds like those people are real those people are the people that like don't have brain rot that are willing to like sit and like enjoy and also like listen to what you have to say and also engage 
I get the, the smartest comments in my, like not always, but I get the smartest comments in my, my comment sections of people like just expressing maybe their opinion that's against what I'm saying or agreeing or even giving their own personal experience that I've ever seen in my life in the two, three years that I've been on TikTok and Instagram, I've never seen a smart description or discussion in any comment section besides YouTube. Yeah, the polyracial look was insane or the poly, <laughs> the, the Asian ant thing was crazy, but. The, like the actual, like not brain dead people are like on YouTube. And it's, it's so nice to see when I, when I read these comments. Yeah, it's, it's nice to talk to people that aren't brain dead. It's like, it kills me. So YouTube's the most parasocial. I mean, it can be. I mean, at the end of the day, like, the more I talk to people, the more people that talk to me online, like, I think the more people get an idea of, like, who I am. But I think it gets to a point where, of course, like, we don't know each other like that personal. Unless I go crazy and deaf, right? But I don't know, I, I would like to, I don't know. I mean, that's just like my viewpoint. I think like, dude, all these TikTokers and Instagrammers that think like they're all high and mighty, like it's so cringe to me. <laughs> like I've talked to a lot of TikTokers and they're like, oh, I have like 800,000 followers on TikTok. Like you've never heard of me. And I'm like, nah, like I don't really use TikTok like that. They're like, oh, okay. Yeah, well, like their whole life revolves around who they know and what they do. Like it's cringe. <laughs> what do you mean we're like best friends? I think TikTok's tick like short form content's good for business. Like if if you're a business format, you're selling something to somebody. I think it's great for that if you make good ads, right? But in terms of making like a, you only become something if you become big enough. I think that's what it is. <laughs> Dude, there's a huge disconnect from the fashion industry and fashion influencers. I think the only one on YouTube who does the journalism is Bliss. <clears throat> journalism and what? Like, what do you mean? Like the, uh, like about runways and stuff? I need an answer. Fa oh, fashion journalism. Um, yeah, I mean, I, Bliss Foster is a very interesting subject to chat about, uh, considering his past, um, would prefer not to talk about that, but, uh, yeah, I get why people watch him. But I mean, yeah, he's the only one doing it. I mean, a lot of people don't know about his past, but uh, I think like, it's not really allegations. Like, I'd rather not talk about it though. <laughs> Because it's like, it's not for me to talk about, I guess, but if you know, you know. Dude, I can't talk about it. I'd rather not get mixed up with this stuff. Even if I'm streaming to like 138 people, like... Um... <laughs> JQ addresses fashion <laughs> controversy. Nah. 
If anyone, if anyone in here, like, uh, dude, I, I, I need somebody to like clip some of my, my videos. I feel like, um, I wonder if there's like moments to even clip. Like I wish Twitch, I wish like YouTube had that, like kind of like Twitch did where you can clip like certain moments of stream. That'd be pretty cool. I hope YouTube like updates their, uh, their streaming like platform a bit. Oh, it has a clip feature. Wait, what? How do you even see that? Oh, but it's really bad. What are my thoughts on current fashion YouTube? Um, I'm the only cool one on fashion YouTube right now. I'm the only based. I didn't know that. Um, Don't get involved with gossip. No, I know, I know. Nah, I hate fashion. I'm I'm not into fashion. I think like fashion YouTube's like an interesting scene of people just because it's mostly filled with people. Look, this this is a pipeline for YouTubers, right? Someone can clip this. This is a pipe this is a pipeline for fashion YouTubers. Fashion YouTubers start by doing a bunch of pickup videos or like it's usually pickup videos and then like vlogs and stuff right vlogs or pickup videos you pick one of those or you pick both you do both most of the time it's both because you want to mix up the content you start gaining a following you might get like very small you continue getting huger and then as time progresses you get enough of a following to then now start promoting your brand or you make a brand then you sell that brand to the audience that you've already created because you already do pickup videos and then you just insert one of those like the brand promo in that and then you start making sales you start making money and then you're able to then just hyper fixate on your brand only and focus heavily on it this is a pipeline for youtube and then that's all you do you continue making the pickup videos you continue making your clothes and you keep shilling it to your audience and then you're good most of the time you continue on Instagram, you know, whatever, post on there, and then you're you're good to go. There's a different format for different YouTubers. I, I guess the other example would be Frugal. And Frugal makes his, like, YouTube channel about, like, whatever. Like, talking about pop culture, I guess, and mainstream stuff. And once you're, like... He's pretty large. He's, like, one of the largest. And I think it's because his, his, his format of making videos wasn't just pickup videos. It was him talking about certain things and his thoughts, even though there might be a really mainstream opinion, um, it still gets a lot of people to go watch it and be interested because there's no one on the platform really doing something like that until now, which is me. I But I give a very harsh opinion when it comes to like stuff I talk about, right? I'm very harsh, I'm very opinionated, um, as many of you guys know that already, but like, that's just who I am, and I'm fine with that. Uh, what do you call it? But, I mean, now Frugals has done a a clothing line. Uh, I will say it's not the greatest. It's hoodies and stuff he's made jokes about, but sure, he's a jokester, and it, it, I guess it makes sense. It's whatever. You ever get anxiety from having so many clothes you don't wear? I have like three K's worth of clothes sitting around. And they're just not moving on grill and makes me, makes buying new Johns feel really bad. So the lucky thing about me, and I'm in, in a point of privilege just from all the hard work I've done from posting really brain rot content, but on, on Instagram and TikTok, I was able to amass a following of people that enjoy my style. And lucky enough for me, I'm able to sell to my audience. And a lot of the times since I enjoy buying and selling stuff and I get a lot of stuff for really cheap because I know places and I know friends. I have a lot of friends that sell me stuff in bulk for cheap. I sell to my audience a lot of the times. So I usually have really good luck with being able to get rid of like basically anything I don't want. I just have to keep posting about it until it sells. So I'm really lucky. It's sad that he collabs with Hassan though. I'm assuming besides like Hassan's a giant streamer like I think it'd be stupid for him not to collab with him like in terms of like the business related stuff like he would get more of a following get more people on him more eyes like 
you just get larger that way, right? I hope in my lifetime that like I don't stray away from my my proposed ideas of like how I feel about things. Um, like I don't want to live with the idea of like needing to go and um, like, oh, if I go and do this thing, like I'm going to get larger, I'm going to get more audience people. Like, I don't want to do that. I, I, I want to know that I helped curate and create uh, a, a support base based off people liking my content, not because they saw me elsewhere. If I got onto stream randomly because I was just around or like I was just shoved into like whatever, that's fine. But like, if I was like invited and like that was the idea, like I wouldn't want to do that. So. I posted a clip on the fashion YouTuber pipeline in the discord. I should make a I should make a chat specifically for that. At some point. Should make a stream like stream clip thing. <sighs> Let's see stream clips. I'm gonna, anyone that stream, like anyone that like, I'll make this like, okay. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a specific role for people that have permissions, right? Um, I'll do it later, but like anyone that does, that makes stream clips for me, like I'll just, I'll let you have access to that channel. And then I think we'll do that. That'll be cool. Because it'd be kind of funny <laughs> to like post stream clips. I don't know you could do that though. That's pretty interesting. I mean, at some point I'd like to do, I don't know, more stuff with, with all that. If you keep talking, if you keep taking your time like this, it'll continue building an intelligent, loyal fan base. I don't like to call, like, I don't like to call people my fans. Like, I like to call people like they, to me, it, it feels like it's like I'm at a level of like being more superior. Like, I, I like to, anyone that supports me, like, I just, I'm, I always tell them like, you just, you're a supporter or someone that enjoys the, the stuff I make. And like, to me, that's, that's good enough. I don't. I don't want to ever label anyone as like, uh, your minions are goons. <laughs> nah, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be that type of person. If you guys want to be gooners, like that's on you, but I think it's, I think it's cooler to have people that just support me, uh, instead of calling them fans. I feel like it's cringy. Chat does need a name. I don't want gooners to be a thing. No, we don't want, <laughs> we're not making that a thing. The JQ Gooner's insane. Now we have to be more based. There has to be like more, more of a based, uh, a base thing. I wish I could proof, proof it, lol. I'm in the process of preparing to the interview. They were preparing the SS204 season. We we're changing the clothes in store. And, I, and I've noticed and said, that ground, why? To which they respond, I already can start working jokingly, but I believe I left a good impression. Wait, what? The shirt I bought from you is so cool, though. Main manager at Yoji admired it so much that I... Have an interview with them next week for the job in the boutique. Oh, what the hell? That's crazy. I wish I could prove it, lol. I'm in the process of preparing 
to the interview. So they were, they were preparing the SS2 20, 2024 season and were changing the clothes in the store. And I've noticed and said that that's ground Y. That's sick. Uh, which we're not doing that one, Ricardo. Good night, FN. The Fashion Disciples. Now nah, that's cringy. We have to do something. It's got to be original. Gooning goaded based. The based gooners. Now nah, we gotta. I was gonna call it the fellas, but like I feel like that's lame too. The haters. Let's get hating chat. Uh, what store is it? Like what boutique? From where? The Juners? <laughs> Goonaholics. Bro. We gotta we have to think of a better name. Oh, main store, Wooster. I was thinking Wooster too as well. Why'd you delete it? <laughs> We're intellectual human beings with no love for fashion, but for something else. Something that we define ourselves and because not we not brain dead, don't need a name. Low gang, hell no. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta lock in on a name. Feel like a the one I'm using. Um, yeah, there's some extra channels for people that uh, pay for Patreon. The elitists. The elitists. That's where we're going with. The gel. No, we're not doing that. The Elitist is is our chat name. I mean, we're all pretentious, right? I mean, all, your, all the names you guys are coming up with, the Gooners, bro, that's insane. We're Gooning. Yeah, it sounds serious. JQ Jelkers. I started as a hate watcher, I'm still hating. Everybody here is a little pretentious. Onyx, I'm sure you'll be fine, man. I mean, if you left that good of a, per, like, presentation. The eight, the edgers, everyone's on edge. Nah, we're not doing the megs either. I guess we could just all be JQ'd, right? That's how you start a cult. Yeah, you don't talk about jelking in real life, I'd be honest. I feel like JQ is so like, it's that's too narcissistic to be like named that too. That's like too, no, not the Yoshi. The Yoshi's too, we have to find something that like is common ground. Something simple, but smart, but interesting. The J's? Maybe the Q's would be cool. I think the haters are cool. The haters? Let's start hating chat. Kaisenat. We are the Q's to your J. Maybe we don't need a name because everyone has a name already. <laughs> we remain nameless.
We'll we'll come up with a name later. <laughs> I feel like it's too hard. I remember I was calling chat fellas. It was like, fellas, what are we gonna do today? The fellas. The Juniors? Fashion literates? Juniors. Juniors. No, we, we quit roasting. We, we stopped roasting a minute ago. It was all in Discord. Like, we were, like, looking at what was happening. The Juniors, that's, that's the chat's name. I don't know, we gotta, we can come, we don't need to name ourselves now. We, we have, we can come up with it later. It can be like, it could be something later, like, no, we're not doing minors. Well, I mean, I would do a poll, but like, it's just, it's hard to pick like a name. The Beauty Boys? Juniors isn't timeless. I, I, no, I agree. Juniors is like for a moment, right? We need something for like consistency. We, I can ponder my orb for a moment and like think. What about it? JQ Anon? <laughs> That's so. <laughs> These chats JQ Anon? Nah. You guys, bro. We need to like. Nah, we need to like figure that out. Jake's? The Jake's. And get an axe sponsorship. <laughs> We can't even give ourselves a name, it's over. Jellas? Yeah, I, I agree with Supreme Dog Bowl, like, it has to be timeless, it can't be... It can't be, like, momentary, right? Because it'd be funny. Jelkers is kind of funny, but, like... The Jellas? Nah, we need to... The Q's are pre is pretty nonchalant. The Q's is not that bad. It's simple. Ladies and gentlemen. Rope Maxers, the Aaron Yeagers. The Jury. I kind of like that. The jury sounds pretty cool. I'll be the judge and you guys are the jury. I am a judger. You guys can be the jury. According to my... my, I'm an INTJ according to like that thing. The jury's not bad. Who's the executioners? Why not haters? The jury, the jury low-key could be haters, right? Because a jury kind of, like, decides what happens to someone's fate, right? And then all I do is just, like, I slam the hammer, so, like... Like, low-key, like, the jury, like, the jury kind of has all the power, because, like... That's kind of true, though. Like, the jury, like, will decide the fate of a lot of, like, a lot of people, right? Because the jury is the people. The council, the jury, same thing. I think the jury's good. Or the council. Same thing, though. Same premise. How about we create ranks amongst ourselves and the rank corresponds with the title... 
i.e. Grand Arch Priest, and higher the rank, the more we get paid in JQ currency. <laughs> The round table. I mean, the jury, the J. Yeah, that's true. A viol What's up, violinist? That's a cult? <laughs> we are not at that level yet? Q coins? I think the jury's good. Jury gets a bit tongue in cheek. It's it's used to acknowledge the audience often. I, mean, I feel like jury's like chill. Onyx feed, we can't do that, bro. Come on. The council's cool too. I mean, we can't all <laughs> we can't agree to one thing. I think the jury's cool. Uh. We can all, like, the thing is, like, we can always change. Like, we don't need to, like. Jury, also how some people pronounce jewelry. Jury? Oh, yeah, that's true. Jury is pretty nonchalant, much better than something like J's or the Q's or even... Yeah, I'm not saying that either. The board? <sighs> do we do a poll? Are we serious right now? I mean, I guess I can do a poll. Alright, so we got jury. Jury? The council... What was the other one? We don't have much... The haters? Yeah, but how, like... What do the haters think? Is that is that what I'm gonna refer you guys to? The elitists? Elitist sounds like... It's either the jury... The jury? The j <laughs> The Rizzers? Call us corporate. <laughs> I vote elitist. Jury is overused and cringe. What do you mean it's overused? Elitist would get us banned. Would it actually? No jokers, no vote. <laughs> We're not doing that stupid. Overused in courts. I don't think jury is like, I don't think chat names are jury, right? I've never seen a chat name being jury. Welcome Elitus sounds cringe too, yeah. The Juniors and Jelkers voices. I mean, amongst the jury, you guys can have your little things. Oh, let the jury decide is used on shows as like tongue in cheek joke. Well, I mean, I, I don't think my, I don't think my my live streams are that serious, but I get what you I get what you mean. Or just Yoji Yamamoto. The Yojis sound stupid. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. The law, as long as I get to be an elite juror, we're good. Yeah, I feel like people would get... Elitist is, like, look, as someone who's been cursed in this world, being known as elitists aren't... is not a good name. It's, uh, it will haunt you for a minute. People won't, like... People won't take you, like... 
people will hate you. That's uh, that's basically what it what it'll be like. People will hate, um, will hate so much. The homies, fellas, is definitely better than any of the the dubious tiles that chat is brewing. We should just stick to fellas. The J J Council. <laughs> okay, so we have. Okay, we did jury, so like I'm seeing Let's do another let's do another poll. So like Fellas is timeless, like the fellas, like the fellas. The fellas is more fun, right? Is basic though, we should be silly with it. What about the goons? Instead of gooners. Dude, you guys are making this so hard. <laughs> I don't think... Maybe we we stay nameless. I'm usually pretty good with coming up with nicknames, but... Elitus enables JQ Style Squad... She, she crew community fashion fit finesse fam elite elegance hub jq fashion fiesta style what the hell is this jq style squad that's horrible the juniors what about guys the goonies Chat big jury. <laughs> Bro. Alright, it's jury and the goons. If the joke dies, JQ friends, just stick with fellas high key. That's true, it doesn't have to be like it doesn't have to be permanent, right? But it's the fact that, like, no one can pick. The goons? Are we kidding me? Oh. <laughs> Bro. What about the herd? Edgars? The Edgars? That's kind of like... Goons is exactly what we sought to destroy. The pack... Toskava Inexcusable Evils is not a good everyday fragrance. The Jelkers... Bro, you guys are trolling, bro. This is not real. Oh my gosh. We'll we'll come up with something at another point, right? JQ Nation? That's horrible. Bro, this is... BTS army. <sighs> Bro, like... I... <laughs> J-Lone soldier? 
I'm usually really good with making up nicknames for like chat, but like I don't I don't know like what works. <sighs> Ooh, squad sounds tough. Squad Squad. Bro. I'm not entirely sure what to... Hey, squad. Hey, squad. What? <laughs> Dude, we, we do not know how to pick a name, like, at all. Like, cohort? Fanatics? I get this is, I get it's ironic, JQ, I think, but your chat is just brain rot. <laughs> brain rot chat. I don't, dude, I, like... Based fellas. <laughs> the rot? You guys want to be known as the wa the rot. June squad. There's the panel, the council, oh my gosh, this is like not going so well. The goon squad? What about peers? I don't think we have a name. I don't think we'll, we'll have a name. I don't think we do a name. I don't think we do name. I, I think we keep it. I think we just. We don't have a name. We're not doing a name. I mean, the jury was fine, but like. I think, like, names of chat. Like, the chat's name. Like, it, it has to come from, like, moments, right? The Nameless? Axe Body Sprayers? Oh my god. I think, like, a chat name comes from, like, moments, right? How about we become GQ and you become chat? Aristos? The governor? <laughs> I think like it'll it'll happen. It'll it'll happen. It, it'll happen at some point. I, I don't know when, but like, it, something will happen. AR appreciators he was the best that was happening in chat. I'm a rogue. <laughs> the degenerates. I don't think that one was gonna work. Panda by warriors. All right, we'll, we'll sleep on it. I've been streaming for four hours. Yeah, I need to 
So I, I need to upload this YouTube video. <laughs> I need to upload this YouTube video and it's it's 7.23. I, I gotta upload this YouTube video. Tomorrow it's gonna go up. I'm gonna stream at three o'clock tomorrow again. And then I think at 6.30 is when the axe event's occurring. So I have to leave at like, maybe like, I have to get off stream at like five and then like head over, right? What happened to the Terraria playthrough? Whenever I play Terraria, I can't really focus on what people are asking me, you know what I mean? Oh man, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow at three. Or maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Cause I streamed for four hours, so like I technically streamed for way longer than I was supposed to, but I got videos to make on this weekend. This new video is gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> We're not going to settle on a name. Like, there's never going to be a name. Thanks for everyone that, uh... That sent me super chats. Hangman Edwin, Sneeko, and Jacoby. I appreciate it. Uh, as for chat, I'm not entirely sure what we're settling on, but... I'll see you guys later, fellas. We'll, we'll figure something out at some point. Um, I'll catch you guys in another stream. Remember to watch that video tomorrow. It's a skincare video. It's pretty good.